my name, my name, my name is Daljit. Welcome to the show. hey guys how are you guys doing man welcome to the channel yes we are not muted anymore i was muted earlier thanks for popping in um and uh yes uh we've got quite a few things that we want to do today um we want to do a speed run through with our save match try and finish it as quickly as we can uh before fm22 now fm22 launches in a few weeks time um and uh with that there will be a lot of content coming up from my end including a, a book, a new book, right? Completely new, like as in totally new. Everything in the book is freshly minted. So one of the big things I'm doing for FM22 is my book is going to cover combine, uh, like how do you make certain roles work effectively? Like how do you create gravity? I call them gravity wells as well. Like, um, these are pockets of space where you draw loads of players in. I'm going to show you the images, how I do that. So with certain role combinations and then which roles work well together, which roles do you have to be careful of? I mean, there's no such thing as a bad combination, but there are one or two that just, you know, beg not to be used because then you run into trouble. Then uh, things like when do you, what's a good time to use a blob winning midfielder? I mean, when do I use a roaming playmaker over a DLP? Um, how do you use a Mazala effectively? What does a Mazala bring to the team? Stuff like this, right? I, I covered it in the main book, but I don't think I've ever done one. I've done the book of roles, which explains their movement, but I haven't done one where I actually show you how to make those roles work in ways that you want, how you might want them to work, right? So I show various ways, and then I, I even have formation set up so that they... Yeah, Formation set up. I should say too much right now before I say I can bang in my door. <laughs> yeah, man. That was an interesting conversation I was having with myself and God's first. Yeah, I was just thinking about Barcelona and how is it a combination of bad luck or mediocre players or just mediocre management? Right. I mean, like I was just thinking about it because it's so unbelievable. But the thing is, the, the, the Barcelona players, their fitness levels are so off the mark right now that they are nowhere near the level that you would expect from a team of their pedigree, right? Plus, their players are performing, the top players are a bit mediocre, and then you got to look at players like some of the other players, they're injured and available. So there can be a lot of excuses given to Barcelona for their lack of performance. But then you take Barcelona and compare them to Brentford. Desire counts for a lot. I mean, we even see Arsenal now playing a bit better because there's this desire in them to try and win the ball. There's this, there's this desire to get the, the ball up the pitch. Speaking of desire, Manchester City and Liverpool first half, Liverpool was playing with a very passive uh, press. Right? If you notice, the first half, they were very passive. Uh, they were allowing the City players to work the ball down the channels. And when Liverpool attacked, they were like, you know, one long ball here, one long ball there. Um, second half, things change. Klopp goes in, makes a few changes. I probably had a few words with the boys because there were no tactical changes, right? So, and the boys just went out there and they started pressing a bit more effectively, closing down the half spaces, the channels for the City players to pass the ball through. And yeah, so 
at the moment right now there's going to be a challenge in fm22 the way i look at it because there's going to be a new according to si there's a new pressing system right well as is the case in almost every single game of football manager there's always going to be a bunch of players there's always going to be some people who are going to struggle with this that's for sure right and they will maybe not be able to press effectively the thing is it's the same situation in fm21 i don't see a lot of people using every tool at their disposal so you're going to have to use every tool in your disposal. So I'm going to show you how I do it in FM21. Translate the same thing to FM22 and you should be fine. Hey, Pramod, how are you, man? All three points you just mentioned, Babo Barka. Yeah, man. Hey, Merovich, how are you, man? R, how are you guys doing? Okay, so here we are. Uh, okay, one thing I do in my in my games right, is OIs. My OIs never change. They're always the same. Every OI I use is exactly the same. This is uh, right. I don't know. This guy should be shown to left. Okay. This guy should be shown to right. This guy should be shown to right. This guy should be shown to... Wait, man. This guy should be shown to left. This guy should not be shown any foot. If anything else, we want to press this guy. Okay. All right. This is football. If you all ever played a game of football where a coach tells you, do not let the wing back go down the flank. Bring him inside. This is what I'm doing. I'm bringing them inside. Right. This I'm bringing them outside. But once I get to the wingers, it's a different thing. I sh I bring them outside. I don't bring them inside. Right. So I show them. I show them to the right. I show them to the left. So basically, I'm telling them. You can play with your left foot. You can play with your right foot. But these guys have been time out. So this is how I do wise, and I never change them. Whole freaking season is the one set of wise. So that's how I set up my game. The desire to win the ball, isn't that mostly on the manager, Arteta, Pep and Klopp? No, it isn't. Because I think yesterday, okay, I think yesterday Liverpool was playing a game where, you know, uh, every every team has played a lot of matches lately, right? So they've been in Europe. So there's, they had, uh, City had a very intensive uh, European, um, they were playing in Europe for a fair bit, right? So, it was a tough game. So I, I was under the impression I was looking at the game. I was thinking, well, okay, maybe they're going to soak them in, get them a bit tired. But you have to remember, right, the fitness levels of players nowadays is extremely high. Let's ignore Barcelona for a moment. <laughs> Talk about the rest of the, the, everybody else. They're extremely high. Okay, so um, I think they were languid in their pressing in the first half. The second half, they changed, man. So I think it's more than just that. The desire to win the ball is up to the player. So, hey, Jürgen Klopp wasn't happy on the sidelines. He was like, is, that, uh, is this for all formations? So you're all formations. The way I play is for everybody. No such thing as whatever. <laughs> I mean, it helps with certain formations even more. Like, you know, if you... Yeah, I don't want, I don't want fullbacks to have... Okay, what happens when a fullback goes down the flanks? If I tell a fullback here, if I tell my players to go in and show him onto his other foot and bring the ball inside, the fullback can't go down the flex. He has to play the ball inside, right? That's where my players are. So all my players are here. So they're waiting to go, hey, thank you for the ball. <laughs> Thanks for all the fish. So you, you, can you see all these guys? They're all going to be all leaving the club. I just realized, right? I was moving so fast with this save. I didn't plan for the future. I did not plan for the future. I'm going to have problems, no? If I continue this save, the, the end of the season, next season is going to be very challenging. Because financially, we've got about 10 million. There's a buffer. I can definitely go out there and get some players. Our scouting has returned some results, right? Not a lot. Okay, so we've got some players that we want to look at. Um, but as usual, right? I'm the kind of person that, you know, plays a couple of matches and then makes a decision on who I want to sign. Okay. Um, there are players that are going to go. Vasharan, I don't really need him anymore. So, he's going to go and I'm happy that he's going to be going. So, I transfer listed him. Okay. I've listed him for 16.5 million. I'm hoping that somebody picks him up. Um, and I've got players like Hadziku, this uh, Hadzika Dunic. Right. Not a bad defender. Um, in a three-man midfield. Okay, whenever you play three-man defenses, you can afford to have one or two of them, or two of them to be short asses. Right, so he's a bit on the jumping reach, not that good. But what I don't like is this low composure. So this is the reason why I hardly ever play him. FT is actually comes out here. And then Joey is supposed to... Where's Joey? Where's my man Joey? So Joey is normally the guy playing here. 
I always play Joey here and then when uh, I think what we should do is we should personalize this to Libero. So whenever Joey is playing that we'll go Libero and support. That's the only time I ever use this, right? So um so we we said I've also in my new book, right? I'll I'll explain why this combination is used for systems where you want to be a bit more aggressive. Not because of the ball winning midfielder. It's because of the duty, right? This, if I were to use a DLP in a box-to-box -box midfielder, it'll be a very safe system. Meaning, it might not press here. It'll probably press somewhere in this zone here, right? And also about here. Yeah, but I don't get him like being aggressive here. Plus, uh, with this with this one, I also have him getting further forward. But he won't get further forward because this is a different player. So we're going to do this. We're going to do this. We're going to go forward another day. Hey, my OI are all the same, man. For all, for almost every single formation. I, OIs are just common sense. Yeah. There are some OIs that I do, right? Like, show on two weaker foot or whatever. That I might do once in a while. If a player is like... Yeah, 9 out of 10 players can play with... I mean, we all can play with two feet, right? I mean, some are really good with both feet. Okay. Yeah. Very few players in the data. I noticed there are very few players in the DB that are left only or right only. But those left and right only, I definitely show them onto the weaker foot. But you got to think as well. Like if you show a wing back onto the weaker foot and it just so happens to be playing on the left flank and you're sending him to the left foot, then you're just basically playing to his strengths. Oh, sorry, you're playing to his weaker foot, right? So you're showing him to his weaker foot, then you're showing him to his right foot. Then you bring him inside. But what happens when a player has got two decent feet? Then, you know, your players may not effectively or uh, OI very well. But here's a different thing. What I do is, I actually, is part of my game strategy. Of where I want them to play the ball. Where I want them to go down the flanks. That kind of shit. Yeah. So, it's... The game does At the moment, FM21 doesn't have something like pressing triggers. Which is uh, different, right? Um... I don't know how pressing triggers are going to be done in FM22. Okay, let's go. Alright, so we got Cherlin off. He's a defensive winger. No thank you. We shall use a fullback in this position. Mishian is okay, right? But he's like... Man, this guy is like the worst of the worst, man. Let's see what else. Okay, let's see what other options we got in this position. The best player is supposed to be this guy, but he can't tackle to save his life. Okay. Which is kind of a stupidissimo thing. Ethan, Ethan Laid is definitely a much better option. His concentration is pretty solid. So, I, I, whenever I play a support duty, right? The guy better have more concentration. No concentration, don't waste my time. Ah, uh, this guy is a new signing. Adrian Ros Rosu. I think this guy, we just signed him. Right? We just signed him. No, no, no. He's not. He's one of our players. What am I saying? Man, I don't know my own players. Man, my big player is out for the rest of the season. This was the player we were depending on this whole season. But he's injured. So, Ribeiro is going to be going, right? But I got to be very careful with how I use my players now. Hefty, get him out. Good, Joey. Okay. Alas Toei can't play here. Ball winning midfielder. We can get Diallo. Or put him, uh, we put Diallo here. Put Ribeiro here. My goodness. I'm using him all the way until the last game of the season. Because he's leaving anyway. So, you know, if he breaks a leg, he breaks a leg. I'm such a cruel person. Okay. Who do I have playing? Divizio. This, this kid has been playing way too many games. Right? He's hardly missed a single match. Right? He's played 20. He's made 20 appearances this season. 7.01 average. We got it for 3.8 million. Okay. Now, this player is just the heartbeat of my midfield. But if I lose him, that's it for the rest of the season. Yeah, Montaro is a ball winner. That's the only thing he can do. But his he's, he's, uh, he's attributes are really bad. He's jumped. Okay, actually, we can actually train him to be a ball playing defender. I think that's better. Yeah, his position is a bit weak. Moves to ball, ball to right foot before dribble attempt. I hate that, man. Does that mean he's okay? That's good. Right. Okay, at least he's got two feet. This guy will be an excellent inverter wing back. Inverter wing backs, you normally you normally select an inverter wing back in the game. Right, you know. You better you, two good feet is better than yeah. 
Geography is always good. So who was I using here? I, I getting my teams confused. I, I, I have like oh Florida is over, right? I'm getting all my teams confused. Who's this Elmin Fa Ooh la la. Did I just sign you? I think I did. I think I just added this guy to the team. Yes, I did. For one million. I'm such a cheapskate. I am such a cheapskate, right? <laughs> one million. I only spent one million on a player. That's it. I'm not spending anymore. So he's supposed to be a defender. Right? He came in, he, he's... This guy's got promises, right? So let's see. Where are the promises? Um, I think promises are here. Yeah. So I made him a promise. We'll use him in a preferred position as a central defender with a ball playing defender. Expecting more playing time in his preferred position. He's a bit pissed off, right? So far. I don't know whether I should talk to him about his promise. I've never done that before. Maybe I should learn some parts of this game that I never played, right? Okay. Let's talk. let's see whether it's possible. That's right. Why? Send on, on intensive language course. Yeah, go. Learn English. Whatever language. Okay. Where the hell is the conversation? Reports. Discuss. Uh, discuss. Discuss. Oh, discuss. Alright, we'll discuss for something. A praise player, praise is a for prayer. I've never used this, man. Nope. Done. He's not here. My striker, my striker is struggling to get XG. Your striker, your striker doesn't get XG. Your tactic creates the XGs for your striker. I never use tackle wise. You don't need to. Yeah, you don't need to use tackle wise. Yeah, you never need to use, uh, yeah, tackle wise. I've never once used tackle wise. I mean, I have, maybe once I did hard tackling on a. Okay, tackle wise, I only do on players with low bravery. Right. If they have low bravery, I go in there and tackle hard. Players with poor condition, then I go in there. That's the situational why that I use. Okay, this is a great opportunity. Okay, I, okay, maybe I should learn more about this game. Right? I, I hardly ever do this. I skip through this. I speed run. I never bother with all this. Yeah. Okay, what are we playing? It's fine. Or they, they, it's smiley face in the middle. He's the only happy guy here in my team. The rest all look like, you know, they're pissed off. Alkma. Oh, la la. Hey, we got Singh. Sapri Singh, this, this guy's from New Zealand, went out to went to Bayern Munich, right? Uh, in, yeah, he was in Bayern Munich in 20, yeah. Then uh, has traveled quite a fair bit. I actually saw him, uh, I was actually lucky because um, uh, the Aussie League, right, in Australia, I actually, I think he was playing for Wellington, right? So I actually saw a game where he played on the telly, not in real life. Hey, well, Nins. Wellins, well, Wallins. Hope I hope I got it right. Okay, whoa, we're going. Let's go, boys. Encourage the boys. Keep these green faces on. Hey, happy, happy. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Let me just make sure that I've got everything. Okay, this is very aggressive, right? I'm not gonna change this just yet. It's very, very aggressive. Before they deep, before they settle into a defensive shape, we hit the cross and pass into space as well. So we're taking a lot of risks. Late. Fazlik, oh come on man. Thomas Ribeiro! It's the crossbar. Or skims the crossbar, more like it. Diallo, Singh, Sapri, Singh, Diallo. Okay, come on. Singh out, Diallo reads the pass. Good boy. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah. Pass into space. Trap. I'm, I don't know if my player or defense is out. This is the thing, the first game. Oh man, that's cruel, man. First game of the bloody thing, right? First very game of the stream. Let's fight it up. I haven't played this game yet. Uh, this guy was out. Who's this? Red one came in. Where the hell is Diallo? What the hell is Diallo doing? What in the world is Diallo doing? Where's Diallo? Diallo is here. Here. Joey is here. Biko is here. The whole defense shifted to the right. Red one did the right thing coming in. Oh man, Red one. Sorry, or this guy came in unsighted. Dead. Oh, man. Oh, man, that was such Wheelins. Okay, come on, Thomas. Gr again, come on, boys. We can do better than this. 
weekend. They're all smiley faces at the moment. Oh no. You see the idiot that I am? Okay. Alright, okay. We're gonna change things around. Okay. We gotta change this around. Okay, Fazley has to come here. I can't play Fazlik as a um I can't use him as a DLP on support. Because this guy is absolutely no DLP. It's not a DLP. Passing 12 Evisions decisions, absolutely zero flare. It's probably, if I play him as a playmaker, deep line playmaker is two and a half star. When I play him, the best players, of course, somebody else, but this guy is definitely passing vision, decisions, flare, slightly better than him. He's definitely better than um, Faz Fazlik. Okay, okay, we're gonna, for once, I'm gonna demand more of my boys. I'm gonna change their, man. Starting with a defeat, that's not the way to do things, man. DLP Mazala. Okay, we're gonna swap these two around. Um, we're gonna move the. What is it? DLP ball winning midfielder, right? Good work from... Ah, I like Kalafori. Kalafori is a decent fullback. If, you got, if you're getting low XG on a striker, it's not because of the player. It's going to be because of the tactic. It means that you're not creating very good chances for your striker. Right? Then you should start getting worried. Because then it's your... Then you have to start fixing your tactic. When you have high XG on a striker and the goal output is low, then you are talking about a poor striker, right? That means he's not finishing his chances very well. Okay. Sing. Oh man, read one is going to get sent off. What a hell of a way to start, man. They are starting off brilliantly. Oh man, ladies, ladies is also not gonna last. Where's a uh, hefty here? Okay. Oh, my, I've done it. Come on. No. No. The whole team is followed, but the striker less tactic don't work already. Nah, nah, it's the play got sent off, that's why. And I didn't use my TS correctly. I went out straight and then probably wrong place. Players not hundred percent as well. So shit happens once in a while. I'm happy if strikers like this won't work. Got ten men down. Oh well, such is life. Everybody's playing dog shit. 6.0, 6.3. 6.5, 6.7, 6.9, 6.1, 6.5. This is a very poor performance from the boys. Man, this is going to be water bottle time. And Joey is the only one that scored a goal. Water bottle time, man. 
no no mercy water bottle we want ban for one match I'm already running I'm already running low on players uh, easy Alma did enough to reel us in so we, if you're not careful we're gonna drop out Poor performance. I don't have to create chances to be honest. Depends. Well, okay, what tactic are you playing with? I mean, like, it's a question of like, like, what are you doing in terms of your tactic? There's like, so many ways to create like good scoring opportunities. Okay, like I can play something like this. This is simple. D defensive angle protects the flanks. Libero looking to make passes works with the DLP. These guys are gonna try and win the ball high up the pitch, right? So the, basically, we're just protecting with the DLF dropping deep. We're track what is alive. These guys are going to be very creative, trying to dribble with the ball. Now, it all depends on your tactic. What are you playing? Yeah, so this that's the that is the question. So it'll depend on your tactic. Where am I supposed to go on holiday? Hey, Patrick, how are you, man? If got time, let's have a coffee, man. Oh, I wish I can. I wish I can have a coffee. Right now, I'm the whole day I'm looking after the kids. And um, at night, I wait for my wife to come back. And I'm writing the... I'm doing work for FM22 as well. So, man, I got zero hours to myself now. I want to play New World for a day. I'm New World then I realize, oh my goodness, I'll be spending forever waiting on the server. So, yeah. So I, I think it's one of the, like, I can't understand why New World has the, all these issues with the server. It's just a joke. Okay, Divizio is back. Now, we didn't play with him the last game. We rested him, right? He is very important to our tech team, Right? So he's the only one. We paid one million for this. We paid one million for him. Can you believe that? It only cost me one million. Right, this is the cheapest buy I've ever had in football manager history. Yeah. So we gotta so we are playing champ. We are, I wanted to save him for this match that we are playing. Okay, Elmin Fazlik, you bloody useless piece of shit. Diallo, Joey, uh Hazi could Hazi okay. I mean his composure is a bit low. Uh but we need to have defensive wingers left and right. Breed one can still play, so we'll put him here. Don't get sent off. FT can come in here as a DW. Uh, but if I play, okay, the thing is, when you play fullbacks here, you end up with a fullback. When you play wingers here, you end up with a winger. It's so strange. Like the kind of play you put here influences the kind of football you end up playing on the flank, right? So, yeah, it's like certain things about this game, yeah. Okay, this guy's composure is very low, so we're not going to use him. Um, okay, we got Lucas Landevier. He can play on the left, right? But he's bought basic simple. This this is the team that's playing Atalanta next. Jorge Alastoe. Now, if I had a three-man midfield, he'd make an excellent, you know, maybe i play him as a Mazala, right? I'd probably end up playing him as a Mazala. Or I could actually try him out in this position where Florian da Silva is playing, but I like him more because he has a he has a few of the traits I like in um in um striker systems. You wanna play La Basso in the nineties? Mm, okay, good luck. Three at the back. It's just. I don't think it's going to be, I mean, it's going to be a difference, but yeah, it's going to, there's going to, they, they're going to have to change some of the other roles, 100%, like to accommodate the white center back, certain roles will have to change, <laughs> certain behaviors, you're going to go into the game and you're going to go, why doesn't he do this anymore? All that stuff is going to happen. Okay, so you got pass into, this is pretty much going at this team as they start the game. Look at that, right? Fire note has possession. Atalanta are playing with the Tongia and this too. Let's let's see how the first couple of minutes go. Jordino gets himself the shot. The other one's cracking shots at us. Yeah. Hefty with the throw. Rowan. 
puts it into the box. They clear the danger only as far as Tong here. Okay, good word from Divizio. Look at that player, man. This is a player we missed, right? The last game. Oh, read one is true. Oh. That's why I say, my tactic in the last game, I was, you know, we, we're going to run so many players, first choice players won't play. Read one is brought down in the box. Come on, ref. That's a penalty. Rowan with the ball. Atalanta facing the, facing mighty Feyenoord. Oh, CFA. Oh my goodness. Complete forward attack is not a, it's not a role that you should use lightly here. <laughs> FYI. It's a role that's got, you, you got to get the perfect player for that role. And it's like, you do have role, like players like Romelu, Lukaku, Erling Haaland in your team. You don't. And this guy will have to have off the ball decision making, first touch, composure, jumping reach, you know, acceleration. He needs the whole gamut. Like, you know, do you have that kind of a player? Guys, we have taken the lead. Final note one, we saved the best for this game. Divizio. The silver, look at that. One, two passing into the box. And churl it off. He's, go he's going. Yeah, I, I let him go after I realized how to play him. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I didn't, you know that I let him go on a transfer? Then I realized, oh shit, I can actually use him quite effectively. Too late now, man. Sucker. You stupid fool. Rowan's header is so loose. Okay, good work. Joey reads that briefly. Divisio third. Shalinov. Da Silva again looks up for Hefty. Hefty the fullback. Cuts inside one way. Passes it. They clear the danger. Oh, it's De La Cruz. De La Cruz. He's got options. They're drying. No, it's Sane. He's in the box. Sane scores. CD Sane. See, some people do not want to play with. Some people are stubborn. They are using pass into space all the way. Okay, uh... Uh, Diallo, so out of position. Uh, I think it's this. Oh man, I did put his tight marking on. Tight mark, you idiot. Damn it. All these guys not tight marking. So loose. Okay, we got this guy on a yellow. Still 1 1, guys. Why? 1 1 is not good for us. I'd rather have a 0-0 zero, zero home. Okay, my favorite score lines. At home, win, of course, right? Don't concede the goal. 2 nil, 3 nil, one nil. no. Even, yeah, don't concede a goal at home. That's all I want. I'd, ra I'd rather have a 0-0 zero, zero score line at home. Away from home, that's a different matter. Uh, away from home, anything goes. I become very attacking away from home. Shit, it's 1-1. One, one. Come on, boys. <laughs> Okay, we've got we've got the options now. Churlin off. Okay, we're defending a corner. Diallo hits it away. Come on. Some pressure on the boy. Pedrino puts it into the box. Ah, it's too easy, Campisi. It's an offside. Yay. The referee appears to be considering the situation. No, no, no. He was real offside. We saw him miles offside. You, I mean, you missed out the other day. You were talking about what you studied while I was in my 20s. What did I study? I went, eh, economics, right? I went to university due to economics and political science. That's what I That's what I studied in university. It's 2-1, boys. And then, uh, out of university, <laughs> with economics and political science, I became a broadcast journalist uh, for a local television station. So I was on the news a fair bit. And... Um, then ESPN saw me directing a show, a sports show, and asked me to um, cross over. So I ended up doing sports. Yeah, but teaching myself stuff was uh, different, right? When I had time, I taught myself code, right? Website design, code. Uh, yeah, basically the only code I actually taught myself was CSS and that shit. Yeah, I'm yeah. I've got, I don't have a creative bone in my body, man. I mean, I, I say that. Uh. Okay, guys, it's two, three, one up. Unbelievable. Ding, 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 
it's a bit too, you know, helter skelter football at the moment. Final three, Atalanta one. We were saving our team for this game. Vizio was rested, right? We didn't use those players in the last game. Oh, Hefty goes out wide. Hefty is proving to be quite an insp ref. He was brought down again. How many times has he been brought down? In the box. Come on, chilling off. Chilling off through. Pressure in. It's four. <laughs> did he work with any of that? Uh, did I start work with any? Nope. Not, none of the above. I mean, I went for my first job interview, right? Seriously, I wasn't even interested in the job. I can still remember my girlfriend. Because I was, I went to, after I graduated from university, I went to fly around the world. I became a flight steward for like a year. I had this, I, I wanted to know, I was asking, what do I want to do for the rest of my life? So I said, okay, I need to earn money, right? So which job in the world gives you, gives you money, you're surrounded by beautiful girls, you stay in five-star hotels for free. I say, hey, five-star hotels for free with beautiful women, you know, and you travel the world. I become a flight steward while I contemplate my future. So I became a flight steward with SIA. And then while I was a flight steward, my then girlfriend was thinking I had no ambition. I was actually biding my time because I was already thinking, hey, I want to go to London to work. Um, my, my girlfriend then, decides to send my resume into a local television station. So I, I went in for an interview as a broadcast journalist. And that's how I ended up in media. None of anything I studied had nothing to do with my end game, man. I went, up, I went to ESPN. Uh, I ended up tr doing uh, stories all around the world. Zero, all sports related shit. Nada. See, what I really wanted to do was go into uh, finance. That's why I study economics, right? So I wanted to go into finance, uh, financial industry. But I had, there was, I received, when I was young, I think I was stupid in the sense that I allowed like my people to influence the my my choice in careers. Like my ex-wife, my ex-wife and her family. So they basically came and said, you shouldn't be doing this. Uh, one one piece of advice I'm going to give all of you. If you set your heart out on doing something and you want to make it into your career, if you meet any girl that says otherwise, you dump the girl quick. The only time, of course, is if you, your first choice is, I want to be a criminal, I want to be a cab burglar, and <laughs> shit, yeah, then you got a problem. I'm talking about proper, you know, future, yeah, hey, guys. Oh, uh, guys. We did just eight. We didn't go one nil. Atlanta scored the first goal, right? And guess what? We turned things around. We slapped them sideways and we put five past them. Sir, Europa Cup, Atlanta. No, no, no. Oh my goodness, five two. It's a three. They scored two away goals. We have learned. We have to learn how to defend. Why boys are falling asleep? I should. I should have used the focus play instruction. I didn't use that. I'm not happy with your performance. 5-2, man. I'm not happy. We should have considered two away goals. You're currently working as teacher, but I want to do something else. If you want to do something else, then fine. Okay, you're still young, right? It's just like, I, I had a very good mentor. That's my difference. Find yourself a mentor. A mentor is somebody that has found success in his life. And he's willing to sit down and listen to you, but not necessarily tell you what to do. Okay? Don't find somebody who tells you exactly what to do. You should find somebody who helps you. Right? So, what do you want to do right now is I used, I am, you know, I became a, a coach for my staff in my last job because of my experiences. So I ended up coaching a lot of the staff members. So one thing I always tell my my friends to do is this. Yeah, I want you to sit down one day, okay? Sit down under some apple tree or whatever, you know, relax under some beach, relax. Or you know, you smoke cigar, then you bring a cigar along, you just smoke the cigar. Soak in the weather, then ask yourself one question. What do you want to do at the end of, you know, imagine yourself 20 years down the track. 20 years in the future, what do you see yourself? What do you feel? What do you hear? Okay, I want you to remember the I want you to activate all five of your senses. See, 
what do you feel? What do you hear? Okay, what do you sense? Right? So, okay, what can you sense? What if these kind of things. I want you to visualize it as quickly because once you use all your five senses, what will happen is that picture gets very clear. Then once you've done that, okay, that's your end goal, right? Okay. It can be anything. You want to be an astronaut, you know, just anything, right? Just apply yourself to it. Then work yourself backwards. Ask yourself, what do you need to get to that point in time? Right? Then you work your way backwards. What you would have done by the end of this, right, is articulated in your mind a five-year plan. Then you sit down and you say, okay, in my first year, this is what I'm going to do. In my second year, this is what I'm going to do. In my third year, this is what I'm going to do. In my fourth year, this is what That's exactly what I did when I was 28. Because at, three, at the end of 20, after I left SIA, when I was in ESPN, I realized I had gone down a wrong path with my ex-wife. I was quite depressed for a long time. I was very, very depressed. I was like, I, I screwed my entire life, right? So I met a, my mentor. My mentor sat me down and said, okay, this dude, what are you going to do? Then I said, look, this is exactly what I do. I'll play football manager. Okay. I really want to, I just want to play football manager. I'll help people. Okay. But to, to get to that point, what do you need first? So I work my way backwards. So I need this. I need I need to achieve this. I need to achieve this. So I actually at this growth plan just before I play football manager is I wanted to be the chief. Uh, I wanted to drive technology across like lots of companies. I want to be experienced in um, uh, broad deployments of technology across lots of companies. That's what I wanted, really wanted to do, right? So I said, look, I want to work with the technology side of things. So I had to actually go and find courses and programs, right? That taught me small little shit. Like, okay, how do you, like, I had to go, I actually went and became an insurance agent for one year just to be taught at the best sales academy in Singapore. Can you believe it? Because that was all part of my five-year plan. I said, I told myself, look, if I'm going to sit on a, at a C-level position in a company, right, I need a bit of sales, I need a bit of PR, I need a bit of this, I need a bit of that. Right. Where the f am I going to get all these combination of life experiences? So I told myself, shit, well, one of them has got to be sales. But how do I, who's going to teach me sales, right? I don't want to be a salesman for the rest of my life. I just want to learn from the best. Insurance agencies have got the best, have some of the best sales training in the world. So I went to join Prudential for a year. I went to their sales academy. That's where I learned sales. Yeah. I learned that. So you learn... Have a plan. Then, then along the way, you uh, learn how to like, you know, adjust your plan. Okay, you don't have a plan, you're fucked. You're fucked. You'll be like one of those ships are uh, sailing without a plan. Hey, hey, where are we going? I don't know, man. Where the fuck are we? I think we're in Germany. All right, let's get on the boat now. Where are we going now? I don't know, man. We're just going anywhere. You don't want to be that kind of person. That's 90% of people that graduate, man. And I, I actually, I'm actually in a country where, you know, there are so many people who have no fucking clue what they want to do. <laughs> like, zero clue on what they want to do, which is kind of disappointing. And then they all wait for somebody to tell them what to do, which is even worse. I went to a kid once and I said, look, you're, you're talented at, he's very talented with uh, graphic design. So I said, hey, you should actually start your own thing. And then, you know, you know, you, today, in today's world, there's a lot of mobile, there's a lot of mobility with labor. You should just sell your stuff, man. You should do all this shit. Doesn't want to. Stays at home, you know, happy with his dad, giving him pocket money. I say, well, that's, that's the amount of ambition you have in your life. That's sad, man. I actually once offered a guy a pay raise. Right? And, a, and, a, and another uh, promotion here in this country, right? For him to do, like, you know, to become basically in charge of a group of people. I thought he'd think on it. Yeah, he thought on it. He came back to me over the weekend and told me he didn't want the job. He didn't want the added responsibility or the money. And so I started to him and asked him why. He told me, oh, because, uh, boss, I, I, I don't want the extra responsibility. Okay, I, I said, okay, fine. You don't want extra responsibility, fine. Okay. See you later. He went away. A month later, he came back to me because this guy is actually had the potential of doing quite well. 
He comes to me and says, boss, I need to quit. And I'm like, why are you quitting? I'm going, I'm joining this other company. I said, great, out. I'm so happy for you, you know, if you go into another company, they must be paying you better and you got a good chance. So I'm very happy for you. So uh, congratulations. I uh, hope you do well in your new job. Just out of curiosity, how much more are they paying you? 50 bucks more a month. So I first thing, I just kept quiet. I didn't want to say. The second thing I asked is, is why, did, why did you go to your new job? Oh, because my, because uh, I'm getting married. I sat down there and said, thank God I didn't promote him. Because <laughs> he's not smart. Uh, so they have a, the most important thing, thing when you're 20 or in your 20s, right, is to have a, sit down, have a, smoke a peace pipe somewhere, right? Come up with a plan. Don't be one of those that doesn't have a plan. Like people like Zealand, right? I, re I really like him, no? I, I think he's a very good, he can be a potentially a very good role model. Right. Because you see, this boy has got a lot. He's got a plan. He's been sticking to it his entire life, right? So he's working, he's working towards an end goal. So you have to work towards an end goal. Successful people always have an end goal in mind. If you don't have an end goal, then you're in trouble. You can't sit back and then just hope for things to come your way. They never do. Then you're always going to blame luck. You always make your best it, luck you make for yourself. Okay? Don't ever say, oh, you know, I've never been lucky with opportunities. Oh, keep okay. Let's see. Okay, this is a 433. Three. They're going to be defending now. I like this. I love roaming playmakers, man. Roaming playmakers are a fantastic role. Question is, what is this role? If this is a ball winner that tried to win high up the pitch, I've got a lot of space in between the lines. Can play pass into space. This is, uh, this, this could be a problem because the inside falls are coming here, right? So I forgot to do one thing. Remember the last game? We always keep forgetting to do this. Smart title. And I should save this title, you know what I mean? I keep forgetting to add this. PI. Yeah. Alright. Okay, let's just keep the ball. Ribeiro is at 6.5. That could be a problem. Alright, uh, instructions. We are going to encourage the boys. Okay, that's first half gone. Second half. Ribeiro, where are you? It's okay. Oh, there we go. He, he has to be substituted off. What's that guy's name again? Elbedin Fazilic, right? Bring him in. Are you going to do Kingstonian? No, I'm not doing Kingstonian save for FM22, man. So was Javi or RPM or DLP? More like a more like a roaming playmaker. Javi was more a roaming playmaker. I don't think he was. I wouldn't call him a DLP. Because that. Oh wait, hold on. Javi was more a DLP on support. Because they had Iniesta there as well, right? So there was Javi Iniesta. Who's the third player in the midfield? No, they had one guy who was holding all the time. There was one player who was holding. It was not Javi. It was somebody else. Who was it? I can't remember the third guy. Hey, Sting, how are you, man? Okay, Diallo, Hefty. Okay, what are we going? So we got Joey not playing well. Diallo is one guy. Oh, forget it. Let's go. Okay, we got 6.4 on Groen. Groen is not playing well. Okay. We're going to encourage the team. We just came off a phenomenal win over... What's that team called? Um, Atlanta, right? In the Europa Cup. And our players have... Settle into some kind of lackadaisical display. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. It's just lackadaisical, man. Okay, look, we're gonna have to. We can't be strikers right now, hoping for a goal. But then they are four three three. Ah, if I go four one, one two. The track might pull out the DM. Then I'm just banking on these two guys to keep this. Okay, we're, we're just going to do that. All right, we're going to swap to this. No, not this, this. Okay, track, DLF, Chelinov, Vizio, Fazlik, Diallo, Joey, Alastoway, Chelinov. Chelinov is a DLF on that support. Ay, 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 ay. I got no other strikers in my team. I'm just going to 
Go. Hopefully the Traquatista pulls this guy out. Very unlucky we lost this game. But we the game ain't over yet, right? So we still have time. Late with the ball. Gives you a fast leg. Growing. Gets the ball. Does well. Skips one challenge. Okay, come on. Get it in. Late. Late. Come on. It's a penalty. Yeah, he's on the line. Yeah. It's a penalty, man. 10 minutes to go. Busquet was the anchor man. Correct. So it's going to be... Uh, Javi, roaming playmaker, and um, Iniesta was a... Yeah, both of them were playmakers. Right? Box to box, Iniesta. Johan Mina to take the penalty. That's a long time ago, man. I have to look at the games again. Mina, Mina. You're a bloody useless piece of shit. <laughs> Damn it. Come on, guys. We got a chance. Come on, come on, come on. This is disappointing, right? This is so disappointing. Lanvier on the run. Okay, we're going to change our set piece routines for our defense. Corners. I want to attack in a different way. Okay, got this. Uh, we put you back here. Who are you? Long shots. Okay, you. Okay. You put here, you put here, you come here. What's your long shots? 10. Shut up, come back here. What's your long shots? 13. No, 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 no. One of these things is not like the other. Long shots, show off. Okay, never mind. Alright, let's do this. Now let's do. So annoying. It's so annoying, man. There was no anchor man in uh, Barcelona, man, those days. Like, they all move as a unit and they come down as units. Very fluid. Tiki Taka, right? So they'll play Tiki Taka. You will never find a D duty in that team. Damn it. We just lost. Unbelievable. We just came off a massive win over Atlanta and the boy just fell asleep. Come on, we still have a chance. There's still time on the clock. Mina, go, go, go. Good. Cross the ball. Yes! We got ourselves our equalizer. Oh, man. Finally. It's easy can be easy. Okay. Very... We didn't deserve this performance. Alright. We're going to look at this. I'm going to change something about my tank. Okay, I'm just going to tweak it slightly. Uh, this guy, jumping reach, jumping reach. Uh, jumping reach 12, strength 13, hitting 16. Who's this jumping reach? Who's this jumping reach 12, 13, strength hitting? Okay, I'll put you at the back post. Alright, you and you. Your jumping reach is shite. You come back here. Okay, you two here. You, um, what are you? You're Jack. Okay, your long shots is useless. You come here. Your long shots is useless. You come here. Okay. All right, so we got one here. One, two, three. Who's going to join them? Um, you come here. Jumping reach 12, 11 is fine. Okay, this is a very different set. Different one I'm trying out. Nope, long shots. Don't waste my time. Long shots, 12, you. Long shots, 12. Okay, you, AMC. What is this? L? Who's this? Nesto growing. Who's AMC? Alright, we're going to try this. And then we're going to put you here. You here. Um, you here. Okay. Yep, okay. Alright. I was things, man, Stinger. I s hard luck on the the um was it the 
on the wasted possession draft, right? I, I now I'm lost, man. I don't know what all the drafts are. Okay, this got the four, they've got this four two three one. Uh, Ribeiro is not going to be available. Let's do this. Uh, well, we might as well just go on to the, the actual day itself, right? Okay. We just, we are five two up. We score one goal and we're cruising. All right, so we're going for the first goal first. So we're not we're not going to be defensive. We're just going to take the game to them. Okay, we're gonna play for set pieces as well. Okay. Quick pick. Okay, we got Baslik, Vizio, Diallo. Okay, this is fine. What happened to Joey? Joey is Joey can play here. Okay, so we'll put Joey there. Cholinov, no, Cholinov actually is much better here. Uh read one, yeah, you play here. Alastoy, no way. Hefty had a very good game there. So we'll play him there. Rashidi Kalina is a waste of space. Okay, we got we got one player who can play either left or right. And then we got him, he can play here, we can play in defense. We got Joge Alastoi, you can play up top. We got another striker. Who do we miss? Okay, we got Mina. Mina is not that bad. But Chelinov. <laughs> I don't know why, man. I don't know Chelinov. It's my fault, Chelinov. I should have extended your contract, but I didn't think you were good enough. Comes back to bite me on the ass. Such a mistake I made. Okay, let's go to training calendar. Okay, let's come in here. Okay, so we got... Here we've got... Oh no, wrong calendar. Complete training. Um, We're gonna copy, paste. And then... We should get we should have hit all of them right <clears throat> so I don't watch me yep it's not working yet so it's not going to be working yet okay all right Okay. All right. Here we go, guys. This is the match. It's the quarterfinal. Or is it the second all cut rounds of the um, Euros? Let's go, boys. The boys are heading out. This is it. First things first. Encourage them. The shout can only last for 10 minutes, right? So make them count. What the hell is wrong with Joey? Frustrated by the feedback. I'm encouraging you. He doesn't like he doesn't like it. Never mind. It's alright. Alright. So far we got passed into space. Not really working because these guys are very they, they are playing a double DM, right? So we're gonna do this now. They're playing a double DMs. Strikeless system doesn't like this. Let me just keep the ball. Yeah. They come out. They need. I don't understand why they're playing with this system and they need to get all the goals. Pedrino. Roger gets the ball. Okay. Rolls it out to Joey. Joey plays it out to Hefty. He was already picked up a yellow card. Plays it to the Sharon. With Sharon out to the silver. The silver takes. Oh, the silver ran with the ball and then ran into trouble. Basley. Oh, what looks for the run? Can't get it. Can't release the player. Tongia. What a sliding challenge there. And he misses the sec. He misses the follow up. Okay. All right. We've got. We just have to survive this game. That's all. They are so defensive. I don't want to change my system. Um, actually, what I can do... What I can do is save all these routines. I don't redo them again. Alright. We're going to switch to this tactic. 
to our routines. Bank tick. Yeah, we're changing the risk tank tick. I'm gonna bring out Ethan late because our left our that flank is two yellow cards on that flank is not a good idea. Oh, suddenly we went from one shot to five shots, but none of them are highlights. Okay, <laughs> late with the ball. Looks up, the silver, nope, late does well. Okay. Goes around one play, goes around another play, and then goes, and it's the away goal we needed before the end of the first half, guys. Brilliantly executed. Nice work from Feyenoord against Atalanta. Dribbles. The substitute just takes them all on and then drills one for Vesharan, who's leaving the club. <laughs> all these guys are leaving the club, right? You smart boy, you. You decided not to extend their contracts. Uh, come on, come on, come on. CD Sane, Andre Bellotti have come on. Why was... I mean, seriously, you're three goals down. And you keep Balotti on the bench. What kind of AI is this? This is a dumbass AI. Okay. Alright. We've got Divizio playing. Okay, Divizio is not... Okay, we're going to protect him because he's got a long season. He's a young kid, right? We're going to push him here. We're going to bring Hazuk. We're going to bring this boy on. Okay, it's different Libero. Oh, he's not a Libero, actually. Uh, dribbling is 10... Passing, vision, decisions, no composure. No, no, no. You central defender on cover. No, no. We're not taking risks with you, man. Okay. Okay, let's go. Let's go. An anchorman does not drift too far away from the two central defenders. Okay. Uh, yeah. Diallo is the first choice. They need to score something like five goals to win this time, you know? That ain't happening. 69 minutes, 70th minute. We have put we are putting more pressure on the back line now. These two guys are just gonna get like uh, they played well, but no, they're not, gonna, they're not gonna win this game. Joey, let's take him off now. Uh, let's throw him and come on. No, we can't make any more substitutions. Okay, let's dial down the intensity to about cautious. Well, I, you rarely see me playing like this, right? Counter regroup. Okay, no more counter press. Uh, yeah. The uh, line of engagement is gonna drop. We have standard line of engagement. No more high press. Okay, got ten more minutes. They score one or two goals, but you know we should be fine. Our players are quite tired. We don't run the risk of injuries to any one of them, so we drop the intensity of the tactic. Okay, that's it. Feyenoord have closed out a one 0 lead win against that team called Atlanta. Final to receive 1 million. Yeah, we get Illili in the quarterfinals to Europa Cup. So who else have we got? We got Spurs versus PSV. We got Final versus Lili. I don't know how do you, how do you, is that how you pronounce it? Lille or Lili? Or Lille, I think. I don't know how to pronounce that. Porto against Valencia. My goodness, what happened to all the rest of the teams? Holy shit, what happened to the rest? Everton got knocked out by Lyon. Lazio got knocked out by Hertha Berlin. Okay, Roma, this, this is a big match. Atlanta was a big, big team, right? So, but, I mean, like, are they doing... They're, oh, they're not doing very well in the Serie A themselves. Okay, so maybe they're having a bad season. Okay. Celtic, really. Oh, this is... They lost uh, at home 2-0. But Celtic prevailed. Like Celtic didn't prevail, rather. Celtic just didn't do enough. Right. Yes, Celtic just didn't have enough. Valencia over Napoli. What a game this must have been. What a crazy match this was, boy. 5-3 aggregate score. Porto 5-2. PSV 8-4 against Monaco. Holy cow. Man, what the finals? We have got the two Dutch, the two Dutch clubs are still here. Final PSV, Spurs are here. The only English representative left. We got a Portuguese, we got a French, we got a German, so we got a Spanish. So the highest representation comes from Holland. Yay! 
it's our time boys it's our time okay this is uh we're gonna change this on to lzp so we don't get too many injuries we're gonna change this to lzp as well all right so we want to ensure that we don't have too many injuries right we are still trying to make sure that we get to the champions league next season there's a long long way for us before champions league football we had uh, I I need to check the rules of the area they see. Okay, rules. Okay, European Champions Cup League Partner qualifying round is third, so we can we can still qualify, right? So we just have to win all our matches, but we end up with some like crazy groups. Right. So this is the top seats, but look at that the number the amount of money is not that bad, right? Look at the eight point one, eight point three, eight eight point six seven. We cannot afford to drop off the race, man, guys. Okay. We are playing Vitesse and then we play Ajax next. Vitesse. Okay, they play with a 4 2 1 2 double DM. So, what? AI suddenly learned how to play against Rikler systems? This is interesting. <laughs> These are all the setups you want to use right, against a Rikler system. I'm like looking at the AI going, whoa, double DM against a Rikler system? Why? Are they programming this on the fly? SI? Is that something you want to tell me? As I? Is that something we should know? Is that... Wait, what's that? Should... Is that a song, right? Is that something should... What song was that? Should... Is that something I should know? There's a lyric that... There's, there's a... It, uh, there's actually a lyric in a song. Uh, which... <laughs> but I, I, I can't... I, I'm now in that... Is there some... No, there is a lyric. <laughs> It's there. It's the song is right at the it's somewhere in the back of my head right now. I'll try to get out. Please, please tell me now. Is there something I should know? <laughs> yeah, Duran Duran song. I knew it. I knew there was a song in the back of my mind just waiting to come out. It had the bloody hell be Duran Duran. Now it's now all I got is the bloody Duran Duran song in my head. <laughs> please, please tell me now. Even this seems like it could come from a Duran Duran song. Hey, Thomas Ribeiro is injured. Three to five days. Okay, Zyder Joss. You could end up playing. Alright. Um, we're going to have to be very careful how we use our players. Because my left flank is looking tired. Ridwan has been playing a lot of games. Okay, come on. Alright, we've got... Joey is not as... Oh man, this is going to be challenging, right? Okay, we'll look. we've got... We test and then we've got IX coming up, right? The gap is quite a big gap, 19 to 31st. So there's going to be a big break between these two. So we can afford to go with our, first, go with our starting 11 first. Johan Mina, Chelinov is okay. Hadzi Kunic. I'm going to play Hadzi Kunic here instead. So we're going to change this. First line for him is central defender on cover. Okay, so we're going to use him. Joey's going to be rested. I can't take too many risks with Joey. Uh, then with Fazli is playing in midfield. Lucas Lanvier is a defender. So I'm gonna Biko is not 100 percent so we're gonna use him. This guy, I'm gonna move him here. Diallo is a left footed player training. Oh sorry, tactics. Very strong, reasonable right foot. Okay, he can play on the right as well. Okay. Okay, he can play on the right foot. Mm, then what are we supposed to do here? We're gonna tight mark. And we're gonna tight mark. Okay. Oh. Okay, set pieces, corners. Have we done the okay? We're trying this. We're gonna set the one up. Alright, okay. Hmm. Maybe, maybe we'll play in Mina. Okay. Alright, play in Mina the silver. Then I can swap to this straight away. We'll start with this and then this guy. Uh edit. Oh uh, sorry, my bad. Personalize. 
central defender on cover. Um, yeah, these guys are doing that. Right, okay, let's go. We test at home. They are playing with double DMs, right? So they are, I remember this. Double DMs. Okay, we can start like this and then switch to that system later. I'll show you how. Let's see what they're playing first. Why not? Okay, if they are playing double DMs, I'm going to switch to my two strikers. And they're playing double DMs with a shadow striker. So we're going to swap. Go. Um, probably gonna remove pass into space. Drop this down to. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it on attacking. Corner with Sharon with the corner. Plays it short to Divizio. Divizio lines up the silver. It goes into the back of the net. What a start! What a start, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, the decoy. I don't know what this is like, what Mina is trying to do, you know? Mina is probably late to the party. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Why not have taken the lead? This is a very attacking system, but we got Roger out to Diallo. He's a left footed player. Plays it out to Hefty. Nice pass. Hefty goes out wide to Red One. Red One will have to be taken off at half time because he's had a very. It's also another. It's two. It's two. Never playing FIFA. I don't have FIFA. OIs are a big part of the way I play my game, right? So, very big part. I always like to tell my defenders to type mark uh, strikers when they come into the box. I want them to be on the striker, right? Not, you know, loose. I want them to be, don't, don't allow strikers to turn. Oh man, come on guys. That's stupidissimo of the highest order. That's like a complete cock up in the throw-in routine. Look at this, right? Okay. Uh, let's go 2D. Okay, let's look at this. Comes in. Okay, this this is correct, right? They're following him. They're following him. They're following him. This guy gets loose. Okay, that's just that's just good movement from the opposition. Nothing uh, my players can do. Yeah, let's keep it going. Good. Fazlik with the ball. What does he do? Lines up Divizio, the superstar of our one million pound superstar, man. That guy is just such a fan. He is such a fantastic signing. One million, not a one decade, no jack shit. We found him, we saw him, we saw his great things, we saw his numbers. He can keep the ball, he can pass the ball. Let's sign him. Flora de Silva is taking the penalty. Come on, de Silva. I just saw that. Yeah, I want to. I mean, I used to be such a FIFA junkie when I was younger. I used to be such a FIFA junkie. But I don't know, I mean, I like. No one to play with, I guess. And it's very boring playing against the AI. FIFA is only good when you can play with friends. It's, use, it's a terrible game to play alone because you're always beating the AI. So I got I get very bored. I got very bored with FIFA. And because I don't have a lot of friends who want to play FIFA with me. Oh my goodness. What are you doing, Diallo? Am I is this defending narrow? No, it's not. Drop it a bit more, okay. This is a high intensity 3142. 3 4 one, 2. I'm playing in the opponent's half. Okay. Um, am I playing with pass? I think I remove pass into space, right? I'll drop the mentality down to positive. Dial it down a bit more. Um, pass work ball, no work ball into box. I want to keep it like this. This is good. It influences the passing for quite a few of these players. They won't be taking a lot of short passes, allowing the team to close us down. 
Okay, we're gonna have to take off our friend red one. He can't last. So we're gonna bring on lead. That was the plan when we started the match, right? Okay. Uh if I go strikeless right now, might be a better move. Actually, it's gonna be a bit more defensive. Okay, go strikeless. And we're not gonna do this. We're gonna hit the early cross play. Yeah, okay. Alright. Yep. Okay, let's go. Then we as well, we gotta ignore this. Sylvan Hefty is player of position. Yeah, right back become defensive winger. It's not that bad, idiot. Divisio, Buzzlick, Divisio with Sharon. Divisio again. The DLP stringing everything from there. Oh man. That should have been out. Look at how our DLP is playing the game. They're just we're shifting higher and higher up the pitch because they got two DMs here, right? So he's drawing my DLP higher and all. So we're keeping the ball, but we have to be very careful about the counter. Late with Sharon. There we go. Got the silver. Yemi. Fazli. Ah! This is what I was worried about. Come on. Nice work from Divizio. Wins the ball back. The 1 million pound wonder star. What a signing he's turned into. Hefty. What is wrong with you? Over the top for a player called Napoli. Man, it's 3 3. We bottled this one. Focus, boys. Come on. What's wrong with everybody today? Zito. Jasper. Nice work. Lanvia. Go, 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 go. Nice pass. Divizio. Oh, he's looking for Vesharan's run, but Vesharan was too slow. Nice hitter. Late takes it down. Plays it to Da Silva. Does really well. Oh. Okay, we're gonna have I'm gonna have to put more pressure on this back line. Okay, we go back to what we were doing earlier. Napoli again. Holy shit, this Napoli is pissing me off, man. This Nap guy called Napoli is really, really annoying me. I not playing well. We are not playing well at all. Does pass will only work against opposition very attacking? No, pass into space only works well if they have space. All right. So we don't have a lot of space here. So pass into space is sometimes can be hoof the ball. Right. So you have to either pull that team out. Okay, pass into space will only really work well if you play with a if there's space. So you have to create space. Yeah. If your tactic is playing very high up the pitch, like you're camping, like I was camping in their half, right? So there's pass into space is not going to work unless I drop my line of engagement and draw them out. Then pass into space will work. Bloody hell. Third. Come on, we got a chance. We were, un we were stupid, not unlucky. We were stupid, man, this game. That was a disappointing performance. I got it all wrong. I got it all wrong. I, what I should have done was I should have dropped my line of engagement and then played one over the top. I wasn't paying attention. I was just now I'm very emotionally applied. I'm very emotional about the game. I'm like going through it like, okay, okay, okay let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh my goodness, we're playing IX away. So IX are going to be different, right? Okay, let's, let's plan for IX. Do we know what Ajax is playing? Absolutely no clue what Ajax is playing. Okay, so we have no clue what Ajax is playing, right? Okay. This looks like... I'm going to give myself the biggest headache pill in the world. This is the biggest pill in the world. Now, you don't want it to go up your ass. Right? This will be one big pill to swallow. This is one big pill that I'm using right now. Okay. One bloody big headache I got. Yeah, IX, what do we do? Table toppers. We haven't looked at any of the games. We haven't done any research on IX, right? Yeah. They're playing a 4-3-3. Three, three. They got very lightning quick players. So they'll get behind my lines.
A strikeless tactic is not a panacea for a weak team. It doesn't solve a weak team's problems. I'm playing a 3 4 1 2 against IX. We win, lose, or die. Okay, that's the plan. We win, lose, or pry. Die, die, die. The opposition instructions still the same. They're going to be playing a 4 2 3 1. <laughs> okay, alright. Wait, a 4 2 3 1 against this is also a problem. Okay, two big fillers might run into traffic. Okay, so let's just try this out first and then we can swap to the other if we need to. Joey, Divisio, Joey comes back in here. Divisio comes here. Ribeiro goes there. Landvia, uh, no, Alice, Stoe. No, 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 no. Ridwan comes here. Where is, where is Hefty? Hefty comes here. What a name, man. Call up Hefty. Okay. But Joey, Biko, Diallo, Ridwan, Divisio. Rid okay, we're going to start with this, which is... Okay, then we got opposition instructions. We're also going to put up... We're also going to press these two guys. Show them onto their weaker foot. Okay. All right. We hope this works, man. You like that high pressing tactics will be OP. First, I don't even. Um, yeah, pressing has changed. We don't know if high pressing tactics are still not OP. Right? We don't know that until we play it a lot more. Why I can definitely say based on what I've seen so far is that. Quite a few people have struggled with pressing. That is for sure. Yeah. Quite a few. That's the pressing the pressing logic will actually drive and push De Bruyne, right? So they're in midfield. Okay, we we are playing very, we are playing on key highlights, so we have to like you know basically see what's happening and hopefully we make the right adjustment the first time. Come on. Oi! Roger gets there. What a jersey, man. White and green. It's a corner. It's a counter for Mina. Mina is away. Oh, this is yellow card. This is a yellow card. Diaz has picked up a yellow card already. Okay. All right. Now, I'm just going to swap to my other tag thing. Yeah. But these two guys running at their defense. This the problem is with these kind of tactics is there's no DM, right? So if you put a system in the AM inside, there's nothing can create problems for them. But now we have just earlier strikers at three. I mean my strikers plays aren't that fantastic, right? They're just average. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we get something going. Lema or no? On a, uh, it's a penalty. I don't believe this shit, man. Come on, ref. It's a penalty. Come on, save the day, Roger. Roger, Roger. <laughs> this don't work. Strikeless for the playoffs? Me? No, man. I'm not playing strikeless. I'm definitely not playing strikeless in the playoffs. I'm playing only one tactic. My five man tactic. I think you know which one I'm talking about. Yeah. I I'll be playing uh my Brazil box as well. <laughs> That's what I plan to do. How did your did you ever go to your five man or your your, your version of the fourth two two two? Okay, look, this is ridiculous, man. I'm so angry. <sighs> we played well and then can see I mean I won't say we played well right? only two shots Rosimir look at this they are tracking back tracking back tracking back tracking. he's got all the time in the world come on Roger okay wait hold on I'm gonna encourage something different okay we're gonna distribute to the flanks distribute quickly okay okay go Oh, Lima with the free kick. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Second goal. This is what I'm going to shove up my ass. Okay, very soon. Because I'm so angry with this guy. Yeah, I hate losing the Ajax. We're playing, we're playing dog shit at the moment. 
No point changing tactics to any five thousand times. You play on key highlights. You get it right or you get it wrong. There's no point tweaking like a crazy. Yep, nobody to receive this. Dead. Done. You beat you beat Sai with a four two three one. What was he playing? Yeah, I saw that. I think I I only managed to watch one game. I th I think I saw your match where you played a four two three one against the strikers tactic. But did he have the right players for the strikers system? That's the other thing as well. I don't think he got. Yeah. We played, you had a very good team. I remember, I saw the draft, I was looking at your players, I was thinking, wow, that's a superb team you drafted. But I think you still, like, were you, did you draft for 4 2 3 or something else? Because I had the impression that you de couldn't decide on the tactic you wanted to play. Guys, it's 2 1, guys. 2 1, IX final is pulling, pulling themselves out. Come on. Encourage the boys. Okay, we are pulling ourselves out from this quagmire we put ourselves into. Okay, we, we want something a bit more like... Okay, this is this is fine. Pass into space, hit the early cross. Okay, let's go. Read one again. I mean, read one. The problem for us right now is this guy can't last like the whole 90 minutes, right? The intensity that we're playing at. We, I'm enjoying this intensity for the last time because this ain't gonna happen in FM22. Ina Divizio Vesharen. Vesharen tries to score. He's through. He shoots. Damn it, the keeper. Throw water bottle. Okay, not man. Does got, anyone know why my counter transition breaks my breaks my attacks? I can't take it. The players get shots off when I see highlights. Huh? My counter. What? What? What counter transition? <laughs> you talking about counter press? Counter press breaks the your team's defensive shape. Right, because your players are... Yes! It's 2-2. Two, two. two goals down. We came back against IX. Okay, come on, guys. Come on, guys. We got this. We got this. We got this. The battle is not over. To Sharon, Thomas Ribeiro, to Groen. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Encourage them. They're playing so well now. They're fighting to the end like vo the warriors that they are. No! Lima, no! Roger gets the ball. It's this time, this time. Roger kick. Yes, go wide. Yes, one, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four. Shut the door. <laughs> Let's go over Sharon. No! He was so close. He was close. We're going to bring it on, man. Chilling off. We're going to bring on another attacker. We got another attacker on the flanks. He's quite fast himself. So we're dropping the defensive side of our defensive winger. We're just going for the winger. Or they've got 4 3 1 2. They want to penetrate our middle. That's kind of interesting. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ima, encourage, boys. Encourage. You got a few seconds left. Come on, there's still time on the clock. It's a corner for Sharon. Our corner routines. But Sharon out to Thomas Ribeiro loses out. It's gonna be no, it's Sabitza. Sabitza loses out. Yeah, Divizio, Divizio, no, it's Lema. Lema comes up. He's grabbing Birch. It's Inacio. What a save from Roger. Too many draws. Yeah, that, I think that was what happened. Had, to what point is tactical familiarity? To no point. I don't give a round ass shit about tactical familiarity. Tactical familiarity. Have you ever seen one of my saves where we change tactics every month? in the game, right? We actually have a little save on our Discord where we pass the save around to everybody. And the goal is not to use the same formation twice. So that means um, when you're the manager, you are allowed to have one formation so you, you can manage for one month, right, in game time. But when the second, then you hand it off to the next person. The next person on the Discord, he has to come up with a new formation that's got nothing, Is it cannot be the same. You cannot play a 4-4-2 again. So if if I play a 4 4 2, it goes to you, you have to come out with a 4 3 1 2. Right? And then four weeks later, you pass the save off to the next guy, and he has to come up with an entirely different formation. You want that proof to us? Like I've always said, tactical familiarity is action. All you gotta worry about in this game is your players being positionally familiar. That's all. So they have to be familiar with the position so they don't make mistakes. Tactical familiarity is overrated in the game. I'm hoping that they... I'm, I kind of am glad it's overrated because 
it means that I can actually go out there, and, you know, play different tactics. I mean, yeah. But I don't suggest that you... What I don't suggest you do is you go and um, play with... Uh, does it mean that you can go from like a four four two diamond to actually it doesn't mean jack shit. I mean just play players who have position from there. Yeah, that's it. That's all. Don't worry about tactical familiarity. Why play a defense with three man attack? I want to keep the ball, man. I want to get the ball from here to here. Right? Dribble the ball, draw, draw the opposition onto my players, and then release the ball. I wasn't playing this, I was playing this just now, right? So we were playing this one. So I, when I play our defense, these guys dribble, right? And then they pass the ball to one of these two. Then they pass the ball to here. Now, what this does is it draws the opposition to me because I have got the ball, right? So it draws them. It draws them to us. And then, you know, we hit them very quickly with pass into space. Come on, we're going to play Lily. Come on, guys. That was a massive result for us, but... I was hoping we could beat them, man. I wanted so much to beat IX. Can a counter-attacking tactic break down the park the bus? No. Counter park the bus doesn't want to come out of the box. Counter-attacking only works when the opposition come out of the box. So you got yourself a dilemma. You need to draw them out. So you can't use... Uh... I mean... If you're sitting back... You got to give them a reason to attack you, right? Counter because this game is very predictable in the sense that um, if you give them space on the flanks, you'll go down your flanks. It's like you know, water flows wherever there's the least resistance, right? So same principle. So you give them path of least least resistance and it'll work. So maybe you can go defensive with narrow, then you allow them down your flanks, right? Then they come down your flanks, you hit them one over the top. If they play a double DM, so you gotta draw the double DMs out. So what you know, like what I was doing earlier with my strikeless tactic, I kept you know drawing them out and then you know moving up slowly, pulling those defenders out of position. Okay, this is gonna be a last story. Thank goodness I don't need to use you. Joey Divizio, Joey, come here. Ribeiro, come here. This is quite easy fix. Okay, we got you and you. You come here. Lambier actually can play here. Okay, yeah, we'll leave Lambier here. We got chilling off the Superman over here, but we're gonna use Hefty first. Everybody says Hefty can't play here. But we have proven otherwise. Okay. Alright. Ethan Late is injured. Red one is... Uh... Hey, young boys want you. Young boys, they want you. His composure is 9. That's why he picks up cards. Okay. Um... Not yellow, not yellow. Okay, who else can we rest? Okay, we're going to play Ribeiro against Lily, right? So we're going to rest him. Okay, we might rest a few players. This match is a rest players match, no? Okay, all right. We're gonna rest a few players because we got we got the Europa quarterfinals coming up, which is a week's away. Okay, Joey, Biko, Diallo, Hefty, Landwehr, Vesharen, 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 Vesharen. What about you? Uh, we'll just Roger is injured. Oh no! Ha <laughs> ha, guys. Super goalkeeper is injured. Our super goalkeeper is injured, man. How do you how do you how do you play the Dracotisa so well? I mean, you find it doesn't matter. See here, DLP host position, ball winning may prefer is dropping deep, right? So Dracotisa is always dropping deep. And now I've given him options to play the ball. So you can either play to the DLF or support or the advance forward. That's it. Give a Dracotisa reason to you know play the pass. And we're not playing with, uh, oh, we are playing much higher. So I'm going to drop the line of engagement to about maybe. I'm going to drop it to here. Okay. All right. This is going to be tough, right? Fine. We are at home. Uh, we'll, we'll drop it to here. We'll see what happens. This might give us a bit more room to hit them on the break. Damn, I didn't play like this against uh, other teams. This is the first time I changed my tactic. To come back to bite me on the ass. What are they playing? Why not? They're playing a 3 4 1 2. And they are playing a 4 3 3. 4 2 3 1. Okay, they don't have an AMC. That's good for us. Uh, okay. Alright. Let's go. Let's see what happens. I could. Yeah, we could just lose this game and our run is over. Okay. But we want to do well at home, right? 
Pyro with the first shot on target. That's not too bad. Where is the shot? Can you show me, please? Thank you very much. That's on target 0 0.10. How? Why? 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 Are you not here? But this is the reason why I have this damn thing here. I was like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> there, finally, we see something. Oi, it's a free kick. Makon. Oh, no. Damn it. First highlight, Makon scores. Damn it. That's disappointing, man. Okay, all right. We're going to switch out of this. We're going to go into a more aggressive style of play. Um... With the early cross, let's go. FD. Damn it, right? First highlight is them scoring. There's nothing you can do from that. We didn't get anything from the corner. Lambie is on a yellow. And we don't have our left back. We got Cherlin off, but Cherlin off is all pace. Oh no. My hesitation they got Landmere has cost us. You gotta put Mina here now. Okay. There's no difference between playing Mina and um Jolino. Both of them are attackers. I if I want to be a bit more defensive it's Sander Joes, right? But at least Mina. Right, he's got left foot. Is he can I mean I don't know man we just a, I'm so silly I should have played taken off Landwehr when I knew that he needed to come off oh nice work from the Trecotista it's into the box but Joey is nice and tight oh uh, man Verna is Joey does well FT Pico back to Helston Diallo out to Mina. Mina is, doesn't have a lot of pace on him. He's gonna be he's gonna be found out by some of the players. Groven gets inside the box. He's on his own, right? He does the right thing by going wide. It's Mina. Ten men fire note have leveled the match. Our Trequatista is amazing in this game. He is absolutely playing the man. Look at him. He's free as a... I don't know. He's just like... Look, guys. I'm in the box. You can give me the ball and I'll bury the chance. And he's leaving the club. Can you believe that? <laughs> we did extend his contract. Man, I don't know how to play this game. 10 men. Come on. Dig in, boys. Let's do this. Why not one? Lille. One. Yeah. Angel Gomez. Yeah, we are hey, we're still attacking, right? We're still playing that quick distribution out to the flanks. So we'll see the ball coming back to us a lot. Diallo, oh, he's nipping at the heels of that player. Dagba, Cruz, Cruz is inside the box. It's 2-1. I don't care. I'll probably drop the tempo down the break down slowly. Yeah, I, I don't do that with Trecotistas. I don't play slow tempo. I play quite fast with Trecotistas. I like to play a faster tempo game with the Trecotista. If I play a slow tempo game and you know, I hope to, you know, slowly move a team around, sometimes that can be how do I put it? I can lose the ball, right? I have to be, have very good players to do that. At Trakatistas, they attack duty. They like to dribble as well. Divizio goes long. Oh, he gets the ball out to grow it. Oh, that was close. That was close. They're playing well. Come on, let's encourage the boys. We may. This gives us a lot of hope for the second leg, right? Okay. We lost a player that's not critical. That's the good news. Mina is playing quite well. We got a corner. Vesharen plays it. Joey! It's cleared off the line! Yeah, I played 10... I, I've got a lot of experience playing 10 men, I guess. No, it's Vena. Oh, Vena. What an awful win. Is that Timo? That can explain a lot. Divizio back to Diallo. Diallo looks long. Groen can't get there, but Diallo should be able to pick up the pieces. Yep, he slides it to Divizio, who's been absolutely sensational. But then, oh uh, man, the other idiot loses the ball <laughs> and gives away the goal. Oh, what a save from Telston. 
Okay, he is having a bad game. Uh, I can't bring him. I can't take him off for anybody else. And I don't want to make any more changes. Right? What we can do is talk to that idiot. From him. He's probably, un he's probably unhappy, right? He had this big plan on becoming a defender at our club. But the moment he came, I redeployed him as a ball-winning midfielder. Well, 6.5, 6.6, as long as he doesn't drop. Hefty is, on the other hand, is dropping like a rock. Uh, it's either him or him you have to sub off. Who do I have a right back? No, I don't. Actually, I don't have a right back. Oh, no. Now, that means we. I've got 10 minutes, 15 minutes left. This is the perfect time for focus. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, 10 more minutes. Focus. Okay. There's no point doing focus with 5 minutes left on the clock. You're not maximizing the use of the shot. Maycon. Joey. Hit it clear, thank goodness. The pause for a cause made me worry it was a penalty. But Dagba, come on, come on, boys. They're gonna play it back to the keeper. Two one away. Are they gonna be satisfied with this? Oh, we're not going to. We're gonna attack them at home. Aye, eh? Cruz, we have our 10 men. I don't believe in going down, becoming defensive, and parking my ass. No, I I will take them. I'll I will fight to the bitter end. I don't believe in going down. I don't. I. We don't die. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, what a performance. With Sharon. Out to Divizio. Divizio. It's three. No. <laughs> this is how you use King Shell Focus. Don't wait. I see so many people using Focus, right? 87th minute. I better get my players to focus. What's the point? You, the, the window on that shot is 10 minutes. It's like you're not maximizing your DPS. If you're playing World of Warcraft, you wouldn't be my raid team, man. You have to maximize the use of your shouts because there's going to be a window where they last, right? So if you don't play focus, you want to you use focus, use it for the entire window, right? Don't be, don't just take it, you know, put it on a 90 second minute and let it go. Okay, guys, we are doing it, man. You see the boys. Come on, come on, come on. Angel Homes is away. Angel Gomez. Oh, no, 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 no. Hits the post. Holy cow, Biko. Biko is playing well. Hellstone. We don't have the headset, man. I don't do park the bus. When have you see me park? This guy doesn't park the bus. I attack. We don't park the bus, shit. Park the bus is for losers. I don't park the bus. I attack. Except when I'm playing a uh, draft mode. Then I'll park the bus. If I play draft mode, it's a different story. I might even start by parking the bus. 3-2, <laughs> Three, guys. We did it. What a comeback. 10 men. We were 10 men down for large periods of the game. Man, I mean, managed to get... Whew. 10 men down, boys. Now we play Eindhoven. and shit. <laughs> Oh man, this is like uh, okay, okay. we gotta. Sorry, the boys deserve this. Team bonding. I wanted to go into the swimming pool, you know, play on their little floaties and go floating around. We did it, guys. We did it. We're almost. We're at the verge. We're on the verge of doing it. Now we got them in the quarterfinals. That's it. What's this? We're now on the verge of finals assist line mark. Jerome is quickly focusing on becoming his finals leader for assists. 13 assists so far with a new final record. The existing record is 15. Okay. All right. No, no, let's not get ex let's not get excited by all this all this um 
records, right? Interesting records. Yeah. PSV opposition report. Gagan pressing star, guess what? You Gagren. Okay, come. We got this strike list. You want the Gagan press? We play strike list. Okay, we got Joey. We're resting. When you are going to Fazlik, you are in this position. You will be personalized to play as a uh central defender on cover run okay all right your jumping reach is 14. your jumping reach is 14. your jumping reach is 15 anticipation 13 what about your anticipation anticipation 12. i mean first leg i don't think he has a left foot if he has a left foot right then i'll play him left foot very strong very good okay come yeah. your left foot very strong you come here yeah all right you also personalize Central defender on cover. Done. Okay. Okay. Question about is we have a fair few days before the next game, right? Okay. Let's see. We got one, one, two, three, three days. Training. Calendar. Okay. Recovery, recovery. I know when recovery. We're going to do here match preparation. Attacking movement, match preparation. Defensive shape, match preparation. No, this one is not match preparation. Set pieces, attacking corners. Okay, done. All right. Okay. So that's the plan. The plan is here. The question now is, do we want to play with a full strength squad? He is Nesto. So we are not going to use him. We're going to rest him. So we're going to give this young... Okay, this match, we're going to throw it. And we're, not, we're not going to go with our best, right? So we're going we're gonna to rest a couple of the players. We are really, we are really unlucky that we lost our number one keeper. We don't want to lose everybody else along the way. Okay. Uh, Fazlik Diallo, 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 Diallo is the best defender we have. Okay. Roger is going to be out for another four to twelve days, so he's not coming back. All right. That's it. It's the one. Okay. We just have to make sure we maintain third spot. That's all. Okay. So at least I am in the Champions League. Hopefully, I'm in the Champions League. Europa Cup. Quarter finals, we have got one foot on the door. Okay, one foot on the door. So the two teams have qualified. Schedule, how many matches have we got left? We got one, two, three, four more games left. I want to submit the team. Let's go. Okay. Okay, here we go, guys. It said flew off my head, right? Just nobody expects us to get a result. Bloody hell. I don't like seeing that. I expect nothing but the win. No, that's too much. Ah, let's show everyone what we can do. Okay. Bloody hell. I'm not, I'm not using team talks when I don't even really care about team talks myself. Okay, 3 4. Okay, we're playing against them and then um, we are going to pass into space. Early cross. That from inside. Okay, that. Right, everything looks fine. We're hitting on the break. Um, position instructions on these two. Press. I'm already using opposition instructions on the whole team, right? So just just in case you guys are wondering, see that? So we got opposition instructions on everyone. Uh, not exactly everyone, but I've got position. I normally set my tactics with the uh, opposition instructions by position. And then I make a few more adjustments if I play the game. Okay, we gotta swap. Okay, I'm gonna I wanna give that tactic a bit of a meh. Um we're gonna move this guy here. You are not gonna be a DLP on support. You are gonna be a uh ball winning midfielder on support. Except now I'm gonna edit you get further forward. Alright. Okay. Then we got them swap. Okay, good. Yeah. Hopefully it works. I'm putting I'm trying to make sure that my ball winning midfielder is on the side where their playmaker is, right? Hey Rook, wait, hang on a minute. Or oh, am I right? Ball winning midfielder now give problems with the idiot. Okay, 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 swap again. DLP on wait, hold on. There's a Mazala there, he'll go wide. My ball winning midfielder will run after him. Yeah, okay, never mind. Oh, this is 
be up here. This is one way we for our support. Careful, don't get down. Go. This is DLP in Mazala. If I put a DLP here and a Mazala here, then they cross over, right? So the ball winning midfielder. Hopefully, I don't know. I'm just too tired to think right now. Right, this guy is going to work on this guy and this guy is going to hold this position. I don't want him to. The problem is this guy is going to try and he might get pulled by this role. Okay, uh, so we've got our position instructions. Who was the guy? The left, right. So, the up. Mazala is this guy. Okay, so we're going to remove this instruction. I don't want my DLP being pulled all over the place. His numbers are already dropping. His number is dropping. 6.4 versus the 6.8 and 6.6 .6 versus the other guy. Right. Yeah, the Mazala is having a better game, right? The DLP. But this guy is having a hard time. So we're going to... Position. This guy, we're going to hard tackle him. Hey, Aliosa Maximovic. I'm doing well. How are you? We are almost... We are knocking on the door of the semi-finals of the Europa Cup. Dandino. Come on, come on, come on. Make... Nobody's closing him down. Okay, now you go. It's long. Okay, Divizio. Out to Colina. With Sharon. Through. With Sharon scores. It's 1-0. We're there, we're there. We're almost there, guys. What a game we're playing. This has been the best $1 million man ever, man. $1 million. That's all he cost us. Man, how important is he in our system? This guy is damn important in our system. I cannot afford for him to have a bad game. Jenkins. Okay, as long as he keeps the... I like... For me, I like my playmakers to keep the ball ticking, not lose the ball. It's like, you know what, when you look for a box-to-box -box midfielder, oh no, they got equalized. Helston is the second choice keeper, our main keeper is injured. When you play a box-to-box -box midfielder, first touch, balance, you know, agility is all important because you need the box-to-box -box midfielder to keep the ball. Otherwise, yeah, you know, you run into trouble. Shelinov is not late, come on. You always want to make sure that your box-to-box -box midfielders Keep the passes and go ticking. Yeah. Oh, DOP is not having a good game. Okay, we're gonna focus again. Last shot. Again, we can escape with 1 1 is still a respectable scoreline. I mean, considering the fact that most of my players, I want to save them for the big game, right? I'm yeah, gonna put uh, Alastoy here. Divisio back to Fazlik. Fazlik to Diallo. Diallo. Come on. Oh man, he just gives the ball away. He has no desire to play because he's leaving the club apparently. Alice Toy comes out for you. Yeah, Sharon. Hit it away. Alice Toy hits it away. Keeps the ball moving. Uh, okay, this tactic could give us some trouble. And his formation, inside forward, winger, could. Okay, we're going to break off uh, Diallo. We need him for this. We need him for the um, big match coming up. Okay, done. We navigated this really difficult tie. Well, we ne we're, not we're not playing all together very well, but we don't have our best players available. So, uh, and... Man, come on. This is silly. Yeah. Uh, I'm just I'm just speed running this and making mistakes. See this guy. Uh we didn't play very well. They beat, they had 10 men, they beat us. Damn it. Concentrating on this game too much. We shouldn't have lost that. We should not have lost this game. If 
find out that AZ Altman or 57-57, we could lose our Champions League spot, man. We've got a better goal difference. Ah, uh, Diana, okay, all right. We have to win the next three games. Okay, look at this. Okay, so... Next match. Three f we are playing... Uh, We're going to be playing the 3-4-1-2 in the next game, away from home. We're taking the game to them. I don't know why this game is too hard. It's not that hard. You just have to make sure that you have the right players for it. You just have to always make sure that you pick the right players. That's it. The game isn't that hard. You just pick the right players. Always have the right players. If you are, if your team has got like 11 good players, man, chances are you're going to have issues. Okay. All right. We're going into our last, this game, we're going to be playing like this. Joey Libero, Divizio. Uh, okay, Ribeiro, Alastoy, no, we're not using him. We're going to use Hefty. Chelinov. Mm, Chelinov is okay, but he's fast. Um, it's more like an offensive option. Late. Late 16, can cross the ball. Plays left and right. If I play him here, he's going to cut inside. Yeah, you must is available. Okay, we can use you must. Okay. Hopefully I got my 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 bench correct. Roger is injured. Uh, can he play? Five days. No, oh, too risky. Uh Fazli, Joey Diallo, Biko, that's good. Okay. This guy is not playing. I don't care. Alright, Ethan Late. Hazi Kunish is a defender. Defender. Wing back. Yes. EMC. Rashidi Kolina. Okay. Alright. Okay, here we go. Ron the Silver is still injured. But Roger is still available. Okay, this is it, guys. This is the one. It's us versus them. It's us versus them. You need coffee break. I bring you coffee. You bring milk or cream or sugar. <laughs> I need coffee break here. No, no, no. We don't do coffee breaks, man. We look at the way I'm playing the game. Everything is fast. We don't waste time. Encourage. How do they get? Look, we're going for that. Okay, yes. again. Uh, we're gonna... I gotta pick one of these guys. I gotta pick Mekon. Mekon is a problem, child. Okay. Pressing intensity on Mekon. Once again, guys, I have... Yeah, in case you guys are wondering, look at this. We've got TIs and PIs on all the players. All right. We have them. There we can see. Everyone has them. Okay. Okay. Let go, let go. But problem is Helston is injured, right? Sorry, not Helston. Rocker, number one, um, our number one choice is uh, injured. Okay, we are going to take even more chances. This psycho game, this psycho football. I'm away from home. I just need a draw by taking the game to them. If I lose, I lose. Say la vie. Such is life. That's, my, that's the way I like to play my football. Full of drama, no logic. Yeah, no Cruz. Block. I. Timo Werner scores. Shit. The defender did the right thing by blocking it, right? Ah, man. I wanted to get the early goal, but they got it instead. Never mind. We're going to encourage the boys. Okay. Dagba. Okay, this is, this is a good place for highlight. Come on, we win the ball. No. We didn't win the ball. I'm very confused with these colors. It's like black and red, and the other team is red and black in reverse. What the hell is going on, man? It's that's what we wanted. That's what we got. One away goal. This game is gonna go down to it. It's gonna go down. It's 3 2, but we are ahead 4 3 on away goals. So, whatever it is, right? Even if it's 2 1 now, <laughs> it's not enough. Oh, Lele. It's not enough. Lele need to score one more goal and make it 3-1. Then, then they have a better chance. But we don't defend, guys. We don't believe in defense. We believe only in one style of football, which is... Charge! Shit, missed. Come on, Eileen. Oh, I swear. Come on, boys. Encourage another shout giving to the boys. Our DLP is what? What is going on with our... Divisio, man. Divisio, I need you. You have to have a good game. If he has a good game, we are smiling. 
Okay, ball winning midfielder is going to work on this guy, the DLP. That's good. Okay. Just like this last game, right? What do we do? Opposition instructions. Ball winning, yeah, right? Pressing intensity, correct. Ball winning midfielder is going to be working on him. Come on, come on. No, keeper. Ah, crew scored. Damn it. He's offside. No. What? Advantage of away goals. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, they have the advantage. I forgot. The score is 3-2, right? 3-2. Now I have to score a goal. Shit. Okay, let's go, boys. Let's go. Let's take this game. I don't care if I lose by four or five goals. I just like entertaining football. FT. Mina. I don't play safe. Ooh. I never play safe. Come on. Let's go over Sharon. Mina. Divizio. It's in the drama come on thomas ribeiro plays back to ft ft finds no did they, what are they doing they they're confused they see the same color in the jerseys even i'm confused right i don't know who i'm looking at no half the time i'm like where's, where's my player with sharon come on come on come on he's looking for Gro grown is not getting into space that's the problem he's just that what the hell happened did you see that teleportation from the goalkeeper this is when the AI is saying you're playing it, your speed running it too fast. The, 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 the keeper teleported. The AI is cheating. We have been hoodwinked by the AI. The AI is cheating. The bloody AI teleported his keeper. If they have a keeper that can teleport from one location to another location at that speed, what chance do I have? Come on, this is unfair. I don't have a teleporting goalkeeper. Yeah. This goalkeeper can teleport. <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw that. He moved from his goalkeeper's position to central midfield and back again. At the, in the blink of an eye, he was gone. Okay, Biko, FT, come on boys. Cruz, they're attacking. Read one wins the ball. Diallo, Diallo finds Thomas Ribeiro. Vesheran has the ball. Groen, he just has to make the run. He doesn't make the run. This game, Groen is playing badly. Even though he scored, right? He hasn't been playing very well. Oh, man. The DLP is not even a good game. I think we have to make a change. The first time ever, I'm going to have to think of Joey. <coughs> what do I do? Okay, okay we're going to take off. Now I'm going on chilling off. Okay. Chilling off has some pace on him. Four four and away goals. Timo, a team that includes Timo Werner. Biko, come on. Biko passes it to the opposition. <laughs> ah, that Nike ad, there's no great danger that's playing it safe. That Nike advert, there's no greater danger than playing it safe. I know, but damn shit. Why do we have to do this to ourselves? This is our own undoing, you know. Biko went and passed it. Biko had options to pass the ball, but no, he decided to go and do the diagonal. Idiot. Oh, man. Okay. Timo Werner is true. Timo Werner is smiling. Okay, look. Okay, okay. We are not going to do this. We're going to do this now. This is suicide football now. Good question. If I use white player role such as wingbacks and wingers, will they tuck in if I focus play through the middle? Uh, no, they won't. They won't do that. Focus play is not a tuck-in instruction. Focus play is just... Oh, man. Guys, we have been... We have been dismantled by Lily. The French side. At home. We have been undone. We have decided to come here. We made the mistake of taking the game to them. We showed them no respect. And they decided to slap us like the upstarts that we are. They are looking at us to say, you don't deserve to come here. You cheating idiots. You played strikers against us. But this is the team that had a teleporting goalkeeper. That, this, uh, oh my goodness, guys. The game is still on. There's still one goal in this. Come on, let's go. Fire the boys up. Fire them up. They have one more chance. This is the last shout. Will it count? So, you, they won't tuck inside. The only way they'll tuck inside is if you are playing in such a way that you're doubling down on the instructions, right? So let me be wing back attack, inside forward attack. 
Pesai Force would come inside because the wing backs were under attack. So they would drive inside. If you focus play on the left, right, then the guy on the right flank is going to come inside to attack their space because you created the overload on the left side of the pitch. Come on, guys. Harakiri. Everything's with three minutes on the clock. We can't do a shout. It doesn't count. This is it. It's there's time for a highlight. No? 93 27. The clock is still up. We get one goal and we're through, guys. We get one goal and we're through. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, Eileen. Oh, I swear. Don't give it to him, lah. Chilling off. What the hell is wrong with chilling off? I bring him on just because he's leaving the club. He decides to screw things up. This guy is leaving the club. So every person who's leaving the club has now given an excuse to screw things up, right? Chelinov is leaving. He's not going to be the club anymore. He's on his way out. I mean, he wanted to drop down the ground. He should just, you know... Idiot. I'm so disappointed. Give injection. I'm going to give him an injection. I don't care. Bloody idiot. Blame on the next match. Fucker. <laughs> we had a chance there. He decided to drop to the ground, pick up an injury, and what happens to us? We can see the goal. For that and for that only, I make sure I play with the next game. A life threatening injury. Come here. I'm giving my left one, and you know. So basically, you want to be sure. You want to. Yeah, I'm right. They won't tuck in. There's no such thing as tucking in. Right. The guys won't tuck inside. You want them to tuck inside, there's a simple thing you can do, right? You don't have to tuck. You don't have to go like, oh, do I need to focus play to get it to tuck inside? I'll show you something right now, okay? This is inside for right? See the roll? Ding! Tuck inside. See narrow, huh? Got him. Tuck inside. Sit narrow. So if you want them to play a bit narrower, that is it. Sit narrow, right? That's what you can do. So that's what you can do. It's a very simple thing to do, right? It doesn't take, uh, it's not very difficult to do, but it's quite a simple instruction. Okay, guys, let's go. Next match. We got one more, three more games, guys. Can we finish in a position? Well, I mean, Europa Cup, we went all the way to the quarterfinals because FM22 is coming out. We are not, we're not like doing all the an analytical side of the game, but that's no excuse. We have to play really fast. The third. I think next season we'll play the 3 4 1 2 all the way from start to end, right? So I won't have to change too many things. So I what I need to do is I need to um off season I'll probably have to go and find myself um uh, fullbacks. Yeah. We're gonna have to look for fullbacks, attacking fullbacks. They don't have to have high tackling, but they have to have good acceleration and anticipation. See, if I play fullbacks in those positions, right, when the AI is trying to play out the ball from the back, those guys are going to intercept the ball. So it's a very front foot 3 4 one 2 which is the way I want to play my game. I want to be on the front foot for like 90 minutes attacking teams. I want to have, I just want to have attacking football, right? That's the way I want to play. Okay, so we got, no, we're not going to use this. We're going to play something like this. We can actually use something like a pressing forward as well. On support, okay. Quick pick. Let's go. Oh, see. Auto saving. But Sharon and Alice Stowe, two of the worst players on the flanks. No, 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 no. We can't use those two. We're gonna use him. This guy is leaving the club. Okay, so we're not using him either. Uh, where's the man who? Uh, we're gonna play Chelinov. Injection, right? Ah, uh, come and play. Yeah, I really need you, man. Chelinov, you have to show up. Come on, son. You gotta play chilling off. We need you. We're playing. We just gave you an injection right in the last bloody game. Thanks to you dropping. Uh, now, now play for 45 minutes. This is revenge. This is me having my revenge on the player. Cost us the highlight. There we go, chilling off. The evil manager. Now he's playing. Okay, there we go. Encourage everybody. Oh, this is difficult. Oh man, I can't do the normal thing that I do. 
which is uh, play the ball uh, immediately to the flanks, right? Uh, the problem is there are two. They have two players there already. Oh come on, the silver with the ball. Oh, go kick. Six point eight, six point seven. I don't care about the rules now. Let's go. Let's go. Yep, we did an encourage shout. Thomas Ribeiro is the first guy to get a shot. That means our ball-winning midfielder is taking pot shots as they go. Alright, we're going to change you. Make you run around a bit more so that you can earn the injury. Evil me. Uh, keeper's ball. Roger is back, right? So, rolls it out to Joey. Joey plays it out. Does he do? Yeah, he gives it to Thomas Ribeiro. Back to Biko. Vico slides it for late. Late comes in. Late looks up. Late goes into the box. Ay, ay, ay. Late is trying for goal. Okay. Who did we play here the last time? Oh, Late is injured. Okay. Late is injured. Well, this is this is the game right? with an evil sense of humor. You wanted this guy injured, right? We give you another guy who's injured. A play you actually use. I need wicked my football manager. Play I actually use. The guy I'm on the on the, the the one on the pitch with the injection is still going strong. The silver. Hey, the Joey. Come on, come on, come on. We're almost there. Two fullbacks. They're not going to this. This is a very safe tactic. Okay. Distribute to the flanks. Uh, before they sit. Okay. Diallo to Divizio to churlin off to grow and shoots. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, Mazala DLP, I don't really care. Whoa, they have what is they, they're trying to do a really funky uh, left flank, hoping to attack us down our right. Divizio the silver. Chips it over. Agro is offside. He's miles offside. No, he's not, actually. We got a corner from there. Come on, boys. The silver shot into the box. Joey's headers. Hoffman. The funny thing is my set piece routines are set to short. This is one logic that this game has. I don't understand. Hey, all the set piece routines are not being followed, no. Da Silva, the Groen, Groen comes in, Groen shoots. Ah, yeah, yeah, Groen. I think the biggest problem we have is finding a world class striker. Man, if I have a really good finisher, Groen. Okay, we're gonna take Chirin off. Of. He's still lasting. Damn it, I was hoping he'd get injured by now. Chirin off lasted, bro. The injection is damn good, boy. Our injection is. Must, our medical team must have five star. Damn it, Flabina scores. Uh, we've been knocked out of the Europa Cup and we might drop off the Champions League spots as well. 57 57. Azi Alkma haven't played yet. Joey, come on. Let's go. Out to FT. FT with the ball, brings it forward, has options. But he's a defensive winger that doesn't want to stop. It's like, he's a defensive winger. You know? Nobody told him to dribble, right? More. He's just going. Corner to defend. Claude Morris. Who's one in there? Biko clears that. So these corners. I'm sure, right? My, oh, this is... Damn it. Load all routines. It's not this, you idiot. It's base. Yeah. I'm such an idiot, right? I didn't change my set piece routines. I created a whole new set of set piece routines, but these are these are the mixed ones that are not they are, these set piece routines aren't very good. Okay. We're playing well, not finding the back of the net. Look at this. We're lit we're basically peppering their goal. 1.88. I mean, I don't think a lot of the chances are very good. 0 0.6 is one good chance. 0. Yeah, Nesto is at some very good chances. 
He just hasn't been he just hasn't been doing the deed. Thomas Ribeiro does well. Finds Hefty. Hefty looks for options. Gives you the, the silver. The silver slides to land. Oh, finally, if the strikers don't do it, the fullbacks will. Yes, we're back in this, man. As long as you don't fall off the base. This is nice, right? Look at him coming in. What a pass from the Trequatista. Yellow? No. no. Trequatista playing such a good game. Again. Hefty. Bro. Oh, sheesh kebabs. Why are you running away from everybody? Go and do something. Thomas Ribeiro, the ball winning midfielder. Yeah, the other guy who's leaving the club doesn't want to play anymore. Okay, go, go, go. Nice work. Okay. Divizio slides it to the silver. It's... Groen is not paying attention. That's the fucking annoying thing right now. Okay, 13, 13, 14. You come on. I had enough of his performances today. Yo, I'll be looking for a stri new striker. Groen is just not playing well. Oh my goodness, Lucas! When the strikers don't show up, the fullbacks do. What a performance. Lanvier has given us a second goal. Okay, very good. Mina, it look, looks like Mina has to play every single game. Man. Okay, tactics safe. We have to save this one. Save. So I don't have to redo it again. Okay, because of the set pieces. The set pieces are inside. Okay, got these two playing well. Okay, does Silva free kick? Oh, Lanvier going for his hat trick. Nobody's offside. He's going for his hat trick. Okay, we got Mina, Lanvier. He's having a blinder, man, this guy. This young kid. Oh, 20 year old. Divisio. Oh, oh. Ribeiro leaving the club. Ajapong comes away. Three defenders. Don't screw things up. He's going to run through the gap. Ah! Two, two. No, we don't play defensive football. We don't think about defending. We think about scoring goals. End of the season must go down in style. 58. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm bottling it. I'm bottling it. Oh, go. Tighten up. Why are you still playing pass into space? Come on, Daljit. You can play better. No, I'm not going to be playing better. My irrational side is taking over. Faisal. No, Fabima. Look, they're all happy. They're going... Oh my goodness. I was leading this game from 2-1. I'm 4-2 down. Oh dear Lord. How can I have allowed this to happen? Man, this is a collapse of... Mo it's just a monumental collapse. We had so many chances to bury, uh, win this game. Lambier is just pissed. He's, he's going to want to transfer out of the club. It's Dina. It's 4-3. This game has just got goals in it. Oh, man. Hefty comes in. Squares it. Mina buries that. 4-3. This, this secret agent is no use. All right, so these two are definitely so we have to find a we have to find a striker. That's the thing that we'll have to do in the off season. That's the most important. Oh man, it's a penalty. It's so harsh. Lambia scored two goals, gives up a penalty. He's screaming and appealing to the referee, but the referee is definitely not having it. Is it? Hey, it's a penalty. No penalty. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, go boys. We've got a few minutes left. Six minutes on the clock. 4 3 1. They're playing with 10 men. Come on, you can't score against 10 men. They've they lost their play in the 88th minute. Damn it. Oh, this is stupid. Jolinov is injured. So, the moral of the story is don't give players injections. Okay, we all saw that. Look at how we're blowing it up, man. I might as well just go on holiday. I should just go on holiday, you know what I mean? Don't screw things up. Let the ass man take over. 
We should just let the ass man take over. He probably will do a much better job with different tactics. Okay, we got two more games. Sparta Rotterdam. Where do we finish this season? Go, 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 go. I wonder how many of you, what features are you looking forward to, especially for FM22? For me, I, I'm looking, what I'm looking forward to the most, of course, is I'm, I'm, okay, Data Hub and all that, yeah, it's a nice feature, but I'm not going to leap, like, you know, I'm probably going to use it for a couple of matches and after that, ignore it, which is what I always do, right? Once my tactic is doing well, I'll probably, you know, look at the number of guys on raids. So for me, the most, the feature I'm looking forward to is the rework roles. Because if you end up, if you end up adding the white center back, it means that all the other roles are going to get reworked. Not all, I mean, most of the back line will get reworked, right? You can't, you can't play the white center back now without tweaking the inverter wing back, for example. And uh, you can't have the white center back in the game right now without tweaking, uh the midfielders and how the overlap instruction works right now right so they're going to change a few things so i'm looking forward to that okay here we go sparta and you know one one divisio joey out to amina divisio growing again picks it up it just not growing stay you know he's just left his scoring boots behind the chances are there he's got these are good xg chances he's like one on one with the keeper and then misses. this this is why i know i need a new striker i don't need to look at xg i don't need to look at xg at all i know the tactic is good i just need to get a better player so nesto groen is on his way out he's gonna become a a uh what how do i put this he's gonna become a warm-up all right, look at this. His finishing, his composure is 15, 16. These numbers are all good. His off the ball is very, very good. But what is holding him back from performing that role really well? I don't know. So what we're gonna do is reports. Yeah, he's 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 got all the he's got all the numbers right to get into the box and score goals, but he's not doing that. Technique could be technique. We gotta work on. I don't think work rate is there. Determination, I don't think so. Concentration, no. But definitely he's not he's not performing very well this is blows hot and cool you would like the white forward and fr position dedicated to punishing advancing wing backs so play now dedicated to punishing advancing wing backs no i don't think that's gonna work right fr white fr you mean you're talking about a slot here is it that slot will never come yeah yeah that slot will never come this position right here, these two positions never coming again because I exploited it and then we created an exploit tactic in about in 2003. So they removed that role completely. They removed that position completely. You can't even choose it anymore. Because like we they had it in there for like a few seasons, right? Every season I'll exploit it. I'll create some kind of a tactic that will exploit that position. So they removed it totally. Now you can only choose three strikers. You can't choose the whole load in front. Yeah. All right, guys, we're three up. Table, we drop. Nah. That defeat cost us. So now we have four spot. We got to win this game the next game. That's all. We just have to hope that Alma have a, have a tough match. The last match, they're playing Utrecht and Groningen. I mean, Groningen can be a difficult game. Utrecht also can be a challenging game. So, yeah, season isn't over for them yet. Looking at later scores. Then how Groningen is doing well. Jolinov does well. Beats one player. Divisio one. Oh, the movement from these guys. His attention is... His concentration level is not very high, I think. Because he didn't spot the move. He takes it down. And then... Yeah, he's look at that. His finishing is just terrible, right? He keeps... His head... Yeah, his head is... Yeah, he puts... Oh, no, I don't know how I missed that. Again, he keeps doing that. He just, his finishing is just awful. I don't know whether, yeah, look at, he's got no luck, man, this season. Ending the season with just absolute, 
He said some very good XG chances so far. This is Sparta. This is us. Right. 0 0.20. This is 0.26. This is one you scored. 0.39. This is a very good chance. Okay, these are two very, very well crafted chances. Okay, so let's look at the rest, right? Um, this is point, okay. All right, according to the game, this is 0.07. This was a bad chance. 0 0.07. Where's this? The rest. Point is one six is not that bad. There we go. Point three two point two nine. This is as good as close to clear cut chance you'll get. Right. Two clear cut chances were missed by Nesto growing inside the box. Right. So you go to match stats, right? You will probably see one or two. Kike Baja. Oh man. Let's see now. We can move this to match stats. Right. Clear cut chances. Three. Two of them will belong to Nesto. And this guy is one of the reasons why we didn't do so well this season was because of him. Ronigan 0 0. Where is Azi Alkmaar leading with track 3 0? That's it, man. We are depending on the last game of the season. They are on a. They are on a Alkmaar is on one hell of a finish to the season. Yeah, so that's. Raymond, that's never going to happen. Too many exploits when you have strikers in these positions. Actually, right now, when they play the white center backs in FM22, a lot of play people are going to use white center backs, right? <laughs> if you see the AI using a white center back, play an inside forward. Immediately just change your tactic. Just play an inside forward. <laughs> because the white center back, if the white center back has got um doesn't have good agility, right? Then the white center back all balanced, right? And you'll see that the the white center back always struggle. Okay, last game of the season. We dropped off the pace, guys. We dropped off the pace. I mean, what can I say, right? I mean, like, we could have won a few of those games had Nestor Groen just found the back of the net. But his numbers are there, right? So... What I can do is try to... Because I noticed that all his shots just straight at the keeper. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the tactics. We're going to Nesto Groen. Training. And then, runs the ball, runs the ball often, right? So, he's been... We've been training him as a shadow striker. But I'm also going to discuss a new trade. Technical. Finishing. Uh, try long shot, not lock. Blast. Place the shots into the corner. Then, oh, place the shots. Okay. Get him to work on placing the shots. And that's his problem right now. He's saying a lot of the shots at the keeper. Right. So I think if we gave him the place his shots, he'll his finishing will improve. Just rushing it too much. And for a player that we, who has that much composure, it's a bit of a surprise. Okay, last game of the season, guys. This is it. This is where we finish. A journeyman save with Joey. Final is in fourth. I believe it is. We blew second and ended up in fourth. Champions League, no beat. But still gives us a chance at Europa Cup glory. Uh, it's a cup I've not won on championship, man. I've not won the Europa Cup, okay, since, what is it, CM0304. <laughs> I've always had a road to the Champions League. Okay, let me check. My wife just sent me an SMS. Do, 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 do. Okay. All right, let's go. Divizio is injured last game of the season. That's a, that's that's not good. Okay, when Sharon comes here, last game of the season. Let's go. All right, we're not going to use this role. We're going to use her deep line for support. Pressing for is not a bad role. But I think we're going to go with this. Nesto growing. I mean, the other thing I can do is the old, uh, is he left foot or right foot? Tactics, right? His right foot is very strong, left foot. So what we do with Nesto, on the other hand, is since this is a pretty much kind of okay, yeah, you know, a problem where he plays. So we go advance for here, and the LF on support here, and we swap them. Okay, last game of the season. Could be that you know he's got a weak 
he's got a weak uh, left foot, so he's coming on, coming on, coming in from the right side. So he's not gonna most of the shot. The angle is smaller for if you're coming on the right. The angle for a right-footed player is actually smaller. If you're coming from the left, the angle for the right-footed player coming from here is actually bigger. So it's easier to finish, especially to place your shots. Okay, let's see how he does. Move him to the left. Joey, Mina, oh, does it. Joey again. Goes to Thomas Ribeiro. Mina, Mina finds out a story. I'm just out of box. Oh my goodness. He just was dancing past that defense, man. Okay, our only hope right now is if Groningen. Groningen is leading Izzy Alma. 1-0. Okay, we got we got hope, guys. All we have to do is make sure we don't lose this game. Yeah. We get three points, we got chat. What a rocket from Groningen. Groin, 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 not Groningen. Oh man. Is he reveling in his new position? I just move him to the left, right? Straight away, he's coming with this rocket of a shot. When you're coming, when you're coming from this side, your angles, I mean, they open up a bit more. But this is the first time we see him send one to the left side, right? He's been, we told him to start learning how to place his shots. He placed that shot with some power. That's a good start, man. That's a good start. Okay. Clemens. Okay, we got a chance. Okay, no, no, no. No, no, no. No, good header from Biko. Biko gets that. Plays it short to Thomas. Alastoe again. Who can who cannot tackle, but he's a good dribbler. Alastoe. Finds Mina. The DLF on support. Alastoe. It's set up for Joey Lanvier. Now gets recycles. Plays it back to Diallo. Lanvier. Scorer of the la last game scored two goals. Mina. Grow and shoots. It's two. We found his bloody magic button. Put him on the left side. <laughs> why was such? Why am I such an idiot? Huh? I do guides on these kind of things for all of you, right? But I don't do that for myself. <laughs> I'm emotional. I'm lazy. Okay, we got him scoring again. Why not? Rowan has got two goals now. Just have to do this for him. Okay. Beast. See, I mean, this, this can work. For a lot of occasions. Right footed striker. Okay. How was the other game? FC Utrecht still sorry, wait, wait. Groningen 1 0 on AZ Alma. We just we we gotta do the job here, right? We can't depend on them. We gotta do the job, that's all. We blown away, we throw away two goal leads, losing 4 2. Let's not do it now. Joey slides it. But the silver shoots is a third goal. We are ripping into this team now. We are ripping into them. 3 nil up now. Trying to finish this season. I love the passing. Look at that. Intricate movement. The silver gets into a position to score. Our Trequati star gets on the end of that. So our triple threat in front is doing well. This 4 2 3 1 is coming apart. Okay. Uh oh, we have another throw. Is Lanvier out to Joey? Joey slides it back to Lanvier. Oh no, he's got a. <laughs> it's four. This is how we end the last game of the season for the fans. We could have done well in the Europa Cup had I realized that I was doing the. Uh, realized, we realized. What's going to happen now is I'll forget in the next stream. Because we take such a big gap between games, right? Oh, oh okay, okay. Antones, what are you doing? I'm trying to keep the ball, work, crafting this uh, passing moves down that flank. Oh, what a goal! What a goal! Um, in uh, two minutes left. Oh, forget it. I should have done that. Yeah, it's two minutes left. They'll be frustrated. I'm getting complacent. We, we throw away big leads before. Roger, Ezzy Dunic, Biko. Joey is playing in midfield this time. We didn't play with defense because we we don't have Divizio to us. Mina. Mina! Oh, missed it with his left foot. 
Okay, doing well, doing well. Still passing, we're going to dial it down a bit. We're not going to pass into space anymore. Okay, Bowie. One cliff. Oh my goodness, I should pass into space. This guy is playing so high up. There's so many gaps in their, their, their defense, man. Look at this. This guy is playing so high up the pitch. Now let's see what happens, right? Yeah, I'm going to play pass into space. There's so many gaps. I'm going to run through those gaps if we can use that. Lamers. And so what, these, these two guys are going to try backwards, right? Because they're on yellow cards as well. I'm going to add or oh, play for set pieces. Doing well. Okay, come on. Boy. Yellow block that. No, no, no. Oh, it's a second goal. 4-2. <laughs> Guys, are we going to screw things up again? <laughs> no, we're not going to screw things up. No, no, no. Come on, come on, come on. Let's not do this, man. Destiny is in our hands. We just have to win this game. Okay, just win this. Landwehr is uh, running on empty. Okay, I'm going to have to start thinking of closing out the match already. Mina. Oh, he goes to... Oh, oh he's lost the header. Rowan gets away. He's got it. It's five. He finally... My goodness, one small change. He gets a hat-trick. Oh, one small change to grow it and he gets a hat-trick, man. Oh, lovely. 5-2. Daggerstall, Timber, out to Vera, looks long, it's through the gap, he shoots, this is an entertaining match for the fans, man. Eight, seven goals, probably eight coming. Corner, Dominiet. Okay, okay, come on. Why don't you ever run backwards, Marklin? Why is this super glued to staring on this defender? Okay, let's go, 74th minutes, now focus. Okay, we got another clearance, Vera. Oh, he's under pressure already. So you gotta go backwards. Okay, guys. Oh, we are still in Champions League spots. Guys, AC Almar are still down. Wait, what's the score line? Groningen have got two up on AC Almar. Our good friends, Groningen. Oh my goodness, I should I should take out the jersey and start wearing it, man. Oh my goodness, FC Groningen are doing us a favor. We just have to make sure that we win this game. We're in the Champions League. Biko goes long. Oh, Skaka. It's Marklin to Wankleaf to Timber. Looks long. Read red by Diallo. Diallo out to Biko. Biko finds uh, Alastoe. Alastoe has got options. Ah, he's going to play the pass. He's going to play the pass. Yeah. Oh, man. Timber read it. Thomas Joey again. Looks. Oh, my goodness. Grovan's a fourth. Uh, no, you see? On the right side, he will score. Look okay, at corner taken. The silver. With Sharon. Aiming it. Joey hits it away. It's a race. Dagger stall. We got a few more minutes. Unless um, unless uh, there's a big blowout in the game against uh, Groningen and AZ Alma, we are going back to the champ. We are going to the Champions League. Rowan. Rowan goes in. Shoots. It's a fourth goal for Nesto Rowan. A small tweak and the boy gets his confidence back. The manager gets his confidence back. It's a big win for us. 6-2 now. Coming in on this side, and he got a right foot. Oh, smashed it, you know. Okay. Final 63. Groningen 2-0. The game, he missed the penalty. They could have been 3-0 up. That's it, guys. We finished in third. The final result sees us finish in third. We pick up 8.1 million. Qualify for the Champions League. What's this? Semi-final. <laughs> B 
European places playoff semi final. Okay. League table. So Champions League, guys. PSV IX final. The three of us. We have to do better with scoring goals next season. That's all. Right. Or defensively, we've got to, uh, we've got to do a big uh, Look, seriously, 40 goals conceded is one of my lowest ever, worst performances ever. So all we gotta do is make sure that we score. Uh we concede if we concede less goals. But well, we are a firehouse you know, when it comes to scoring goals. We score lots of goals. We also concede a lot of goals. Uh, AZ Alma finished third. Aaron Wien uh, fourth. Camber got relegated. Sitar got relegated. Roda got relegated. We have to thank Groningen for spoiling AZ Alma's party. Otherwise, we would have been also, you know, playing here. Ooh, this is good news. This is good news. This is good news. Okay. Nesto Gro is the top scorer with 26 goals. But... We found a way to tweak him a bit more. Uh, we have to slightly change the way we play this type thing. Uh, and play it like this, right? So we're going to do that. Next season, do we look for another striker? I mean, on the face of it, he still has plenty of potential to be a really good striker. Um, Hina is a DLF on support. So he's not that fantastic, but at least... Uh, we might have to improve his strength. Okay, and then uh, we want to train him as a DLF on support. Okay. We might want to start thinking about another player here. So we're going to have to look for players next season. Chelinov won't be here. Ribeiro won't be here. Uh, Vesharan won't be here. Uh, Trequatista, we lost one Trequatista. So we've got a few players we need to get. Once they go, we sign. That's it. Elsewhere, what, has the, what are the other results as elsewhere? Let's see what the other leagues look like. Okay. Um do 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 let's see, let's see, let's see. Europe. Um Competition leagues, okay. In the English Premier Division, Liverpool champions, Troy Parrot of uh, Troy Daniel, this Troy Daniel Parrot, right? Troy Parrot, 20 goals. Liverpool, United City, Spurs, Arsenal, Leeds, Chelsea, Fulham, Southern Brighton. Brentford in last. Okay. All right, Spanish First Division. Barcelona, oh my goodness, how can this happen in real world? Barcelona champions of the league, lost only one game. So in the year 2028, right? Barcelona champions, Atletico, Real Sociedad, and Real Madrid. And then we got Zaragoza, Aiba, and Almera. Top scorer, Esposito with 27 goals. Serie A, we got Milan, Juventus, and Inter, Roma, Lazio rounding up the top three. Sampdoria relegated. I mean, something. But this club is a bit sad, right? When you see Sampdoria. Torino is still there. No? Torino somehow or another, right? This team is always here. Like, they're always in the... the very, it's a very steady club in this game, right? And you always see them like, okay, the worst they've done is 16. But most of the time, you see them, uh, they're doing around this 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 tier about 7 or 8. Torino is always... A, whenever people ask me which club should I pick in Serie A, I always recommend Torino. Bundesliga, Bayern Munich, Borussia, Mönchengladbach, Borussia Dortmund. Oh, Mönchengladbach, not too bad. Right. Fourth third, fourth third, fourth third. This is my, this is my, in the Bundesliga, right, this is my favourite club. And you've got Hertha, Berlin, Leipzig, Hoffenheim, Wolfsburg. I play with Wolfsburg, Hoffenheim, Wolfsburg. I've never played Borussia Mönchengladbach. Schalke, I played them once or twice. You know, I wasn't, I wasn't too, like, you know, fired up while playing with myself. Schalke. Uh, and, oh my goodness, guess who's playing here, man? Andrea Pinamonte. Playing in Nuremberg, 18 goals. Uh, Bayern Munich. Stranglehold of this league is by Bayern Munich. Look at that. Maybe on a journeyman save, right? If I get a chance to, yeah, then I'll definitely end up in Bundesliga. I want to win the Bundesliga. Then we've got the French League, PSG. <laughs> PSG. 85-80, Lyon, Monaco, Lille. Oh, okay, all right. I mean, this this club did quite well. I mean, the Europa Cup, oh, they do all they do really well. Champions League, they didn't get a chance to finish Champions League, right? 
Press my save key. There we go. Portuguese Premier League. We go. Porto, Benfica, Porto. Oh my goodness. Hey, let's look at the rest of the clubs. Oh, well. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad this league. But I've, I've, I mean, I've used to play Port, uh, Portuguese Premier League all the time, right? I just eased off on that league quite a fair bit. Russian Premier League, Zenit, Seska, Mos Seska, Moscow, Krasnodar, Lokomotiv, Moscow, Spartak, Moscow. This is another interesting league I want to play in as well. They, this, they, I think they still have their funky, funky rules, right? You know, for the minimum of four players train a club for three years before 21st, okay, maximum of eight for they got a foreign player rule. Uh, what about a starting 11? I don't know if they have a starting 11 rule. No, I remember the Turkey, Tur I'm never going back to Turkey for the rest of my life. I'm not playing Turkey ever again. Okay, no thank you, that's it, done, dusted. I've done my Turkey save. I'm never ever going back to Turkey. Okay. I don't want to play in a league where they tell me I'm going to use three youngsters for every single game. Get it, man. Who We want to win the Champions League and you're telling me I have to play in three youngsters in my domestic matches and save all the top players for the Champions League? What the hell is wrong with you, man? <laughs> That's never happening. So once again, guys, don't forget, right? Um, I'm streaming on... Uh, I got most of my content on Bustanet. So you, there will be... Uh, times when I am going to start uh, doing things like a um, one or two of my playthroughs for FM22 will be on the Bustanet channel for sure right so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna do them there so live streams will all be here but some of the playthroughs I'm gonna put them there I might mix mix and match right some of the live streams here and then I do a small little playthrough I look at some of the roles and then I'll shove them into the Bustanet channel, so you got to be following that channel as well. So if you want to get part, become part of the Discord as well. Consider you know uh, uh, becoming a YouTube member or becoming a patron of the channel, and then you get access to Discord. So I want to thank everybody for coming on today's show. You guys have been absolutely fantastic. We finished a, another season. We finished third. Okay, we didn't do too badly. We're getting to know this team, right? Next season we have to win the title or at least win the cup. We have nailed one or two problem positions that we need to get. I need to strengthen those positions in the off season, and that's what we'll. That's what I plan to do. So I want to thank everybody for coming into this show. You've been absolutely fantastic. I will be streaming again on Wednesday. This weekend, I'm taking part in the Wasted Possession Draft Final as well as the FM Playoff Finals. That will be my last appearance in any PvP game. The FM22 is launched because I'm going to be very. I'm very very busy at the moment so i'm gonna have to sayonara some of these pvp competitions i can't be taking part in any of them it's just too much so if you guys have any questions you guys please feel free to reach out to me and i'll try my best to help you guys out in the meantime you guys stay safe stay healthy i'll see you again soon thanks for watching Bye bye